Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Droogie, thank you, man. Thank you for the 16 months, dude. Uh, Shogun, if you're here, man, thank you so much. I Let me just get uh, my thanks put out front here, man, from yesterday, because I, I can't properly thank people while I'm doing the show, because there's too much character going on. Thank you so much, uh, Shogun. I hope you're here, man. Shala, thank you so much for the bits, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the bits, Shala. It's awesome. It's incredible, man. The show yesterday was amazing. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start setting those on a date. I'm going to start setting those on a specific date. I'm going to talk to Nietzsche. We're going to figure out what, uh, what the best day. Uh, we'll, we'll try to aim for like a bi-monthly thing. So once, uh, or, or twice, twice a month, once every two weeks. We'll, we'll try to aim for that just so that we have, we have like a time period set and we know when it's, when it's happening. Um, but thank you so much. Advanced Hominid, thank you so much for the 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the 11 months. Everybody, this is a video. We're debuting a video made by Pumpkinberry. Made by Pumpkinberry. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to shout people out on on uh, on Twitch. Can someone tell me how? Shout out Pumpkinberry. Oh, that worked. Okay. This is a video made by Pumpkinberry. Uh, I, I, I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know this was a thing they did, but they are so talented. They are so, so talented uh, at, at editing and, and, and doing all this stuff. They've done it before. I don't know how I haven't seen these, man. I don't know how I haven't seen these. I think they did one uh, with a person named Midna. Unless I'm misremembering the name, but I saw another one of, of these. PB is amazing. PB is absolutely amazing. So I I, I get into a call with PB and and Meyer Meyer who plays drummer. And Mishka, there we go. Pumpkinberry, hello. Pumpkinberry uh, is here, but I believe they're also uh, at. Ooh, what's the name of the channel? I, I had written it down. I had written it down. Hold on. They're on a channel right now called Table Story. And they're also playing D&D. &D. So please check out their, check out their uh, tabletop RPG D&D &D game as well. I, I stopped in for just a moment. And I saw them all dressed up. And I thought it was really charming. Silvers, thank you so much for the 19 months, dude. Thank you so much. Sorry, this screen doesn't have the little ape that swings by. But Silvers, thank you so much for the 19 months. Thank you, dude. So, Meyer and Pumpkinberry and, and, and myself. Oh, and Trenchmouth as well. Trenchmouth was also there. We, we, we spent a few hours recording this, and I have no idea how long it took for PB to, to actually edit this video, but it, it had to have been a long time because it, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I I could not make it to the end. I'm 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 gonna be honest, I couldn't make it to the end. It was it was it it, it hit me too hard, man. It was hitting me too hard. So this is gonna be the first time I I, I watch it all the way to the end. I'm gonna I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. I don't want to talk over it, but but no, I'm I'm like gritting my teeth and clenching my 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 shirt and and hunched and like bundled 
because it, it hits me so damn hard, man. But this is, this is just incredible. It's incredible. And this is a, a crucial point, a crucial turning point, a crucial everything in LJ's story. And I knew, like, like if it was, if it was something else, I could have, I could have moved on right and like you know it could have affected me but it didn't have to affect me that hard but the fact that it's it, there's so much and it's so high quality man uh this this is this is the climax of the story climax this is this is incredibly incredibly important i have to i have to do something with it right i have to do something with it I, I, I don't know what else to say. I think I'm just trying to I'm just trying to put it off right now because I'm I'm so nervous, man. I'm so nervous. This it's gonna hit me too hard. It's gonna hit me too hard. I'm gonna have to put my, my hands over my, my eyes. It's on it's on YouTube. I don't know if uh, Pumpkinberry is going to unlist it after the fact. After this debuts. I, uh, if they do, I'll, uh, I'll link it in the, in the discord, but please, everyone, please, can you, can you follow Pumpkinberry and follow Meyer too, follow Meyer too, because these, these two went above and beyond, and this is absolutely amazing, I, I haven't seen anything like this before, uh, before they showed me, and it's, it's, it's amazing, so please, Follow Pumpkinberry on Twitch, follow Meyer on Twitch, on YouTube, on Twitter, everything, man, please. And Trenchmouth, Trenchmouth was also there. But uh, I have nothing else to say. I'm just going to be quiet, and I'm, I'm going to let this play. And I, I, I'm going to mute the notifications. I'm going to mute, the, I'm going to mute that little gibbon that jumps in front of the screen. But uh, after after uh, after it ends, I'll I'll shout any anyone out if, if anyone does anything, anyone follows or anything like that. You're gonna see just the background screen for just a moment. Oh, man, ladies and gentlemen, the most important scene. for LJ as a character. It's not centered. Oh, man. All right, I'm gonna mute myself. And we're just going to experience it together. It's a long one. It's 50 minutes. Enjoy. It's the LJ. Drummer, I got everything you wanted. Oh, let us see. I got all of it. Snake skin. The antlers. Even the heart. Very good. <laughs> Wasn't easy. I see. Miss Delilah, what do you think? I guess we'll find out. Very well. Please. Mr. LJ, make yourself at home. Sit down for now. Tell me about your travels. My travels getting the items? Correct. 
Well... For that snakeskin, I have to stick my hand in a hole. Snake's den. I had to... Pray that the snake didn't pump me full of poison. Is that so? That's right. It did bite me. Did it? But, uh, it wasn't poisonous, thankfully. Uh... Naturalist. Someone that knew what he was doing, he... He told me that it wasn't poison. You had help? A little bit. Those antlers. Well, at first, I, I couldn't figure out how to get that. Uh, every time I, I'd, I'd go up to a deer, it'd, it'd run away. I figured the second it saw me, it had fear in its heart, and I'd have to find a new one. I wasn't quiet enough to sneak up on any of them. And after hours and hours of searching, almost giving up, I came across a, a buck standing there, taxidermied. I figured that thing didn't have any fear, it was already dead. So I cut the antlers right off it. Hmm. I see. As far as the bird goes, well, I'm not a trapper or anything. So I couldn't figure out how to catch a bird. But I remember when I was younger, my friends who we went to the top of this mountain. And on top of this mountain, we found this giant bird. And, and this creature had attacked us. And I remember drawing my my pistol, shooting it in one of the wings. I found out later that all it was trying to do was protect its, uh, its eggs. But I took away its ability to fly a long time ago. And I guess I took away everything else just the other night. So I got everything, all of it. Very good. good. Just so. Mr. LJ, please stand up. What's this? This will help. I need you to drink this coal, then lie down on the bed. Ugh, it doesn't look very appetizing. The best things in life rarely are. Ugh. All right, pass it here. Please, lay down. Your head must be swimming. What the hell was that? A little something. Now, in a few minutes, you will feel a bit more discomfort than just a bad taste. 
It differs from person to person. However, one thing is for sure. This will stay. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. The pain coursing through your body is all but part of your journey. Okay, so once I start feeling pain, what happens then? Oh, the pain never quite leaves. However, your head might feel a bit light. It might feel a bit woozy. Dizzy. Your perception might be a little bit. How would you say? Lapse. Oh. All right, I'm starting to feel something. It's like a tingle or. Oh. Wait for me. I'm in Guarma. Oh, Guarma. What is it you see on the island? I'm in the back. Uh, I'm in the back of this cave. I left this place already. It's lonely here. Why are you in the cave, LJ? I'm in the cave because I tried to leave everything behind. And it was the only place that I could go. Why did you try and leave things behind, LJ? I don't know. I just... One day, I, I just walked away from everything. Why? Think. Because... Because it wasn't what I, I expected. What did you want, LJ? I wanted... people who would listen to me and, and, and... people who would agree with me. And because you could not attain such a thing, you sequestered yourself in solitude on an island. Why did you leave? Did you ever leave? Uh, 
I, I left. Uh, Wallaby came. He, he found me in that cave and he took me. He took me here. Um, or he took me away to Van Horn. Who left that cave, LJ? I did. You did. I spoke to you once before. You mentioned a weak, defenseless boy. Did you leave them in that cave? Where are they? They're... They're over there, I see them. Oh? Describe him to me. He's terrible. He's crinkled. A nuisance. He's leaving the cave. Hold on. Wait. I'm somewhere else now. No. I want to speak to the lost boy. Where is he? I'm looking around. I'm... This is Little Valley. This is a, a place that I, that I lived at. I'm not sure where he went. Are you hiding him from me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't hide him. I, I want him gone. Do you? Yeah. Look around. I mean, this was a nice place before he started ruining things. I, I used to have everyone that I cared for here. All the people that agreed with me. Is that what love is to you? People agreeing with you? Of course it is. Yeah. What else would it be? Acceptance? Someone who sees you for exactly who you are. All your darkest desires, all your flaws. And yet, their feelings for you do not change. accept this boy, embrace him for all his flaws and pain he has caused you, become one with this boy, or you will cut him out. But you will lose something you can never get back. Do you understand? I understand. Let me talk to the little boy, please. I'm not sure where he went. Hmm. Oh, I'll look for him. Do that. I'm somewhere else now. I'm... Where is that? I'm at a place called the Boondocks. Oh? 
This is where I first tried to start a, a, a little family. And how did that go? People wouldn't let me be happy. Wouldn't let us be happy. People just kept trying to interfere. I, I just wanted to, to live here and just be away from everyone except for the people that agreed with me. That I agreed with you. Did this young boy I agree with you. No, he didn't. Why is that? Because what he wanted and, and what I wanted were two different things. You want people who agree with you. Yes? Yes. LJ, I need you to take a step back. I want to find the boy. Where is he? Well, I think I know where to find him. Take me there. I'm at Braithwaite Manor. I see him. Standing at the front door, looking up. How do I call out for him? You are LJ. Who is he? He's, um... Uh, he's, he's LJ. Oh. Young LJ, please come here. I would like a word. Don't be shy. What do you want? I just need a moment of your time. I don't have any time. Most people do not. But in this instance, I am sure you can oblige, but for a moment. All right. Now, I know somebody very close to you. He is in a very interesting place. I but have one question for you, LJ. Yeah. What is it you want more than anything? I... I want things to go back to the way they used to be, I guess. How did things used to be? Well... Things weren't so crazy. Um... I, I'd... I'd go... Uh... I'd come here, and... and I'd shout up at the balcony, and I'd ask Mrs. B if Edwin was home. And then we would go, and we'd meet up with everyone else. And we'd have fun. But things aren't really fun anymore. Mm. And why is that? People keep dying. And the people that aren't dead they're dead inside.
Sometimes we cannot help those around us. Sometimes life is just life. Do you see this man before me with the buckskin jacket and the hat? Yeah, I see him. Are you aware of his life? Of his deeds? Yeah. And what do you think? I don't like him. Why is that? Because he's a bad guy. Oh. But how? He hurts people. And, and not in a funny way. In a really serious way. I see. And... If you could change him... Would you? Yeah. I'd get rid of him. Rid of him? That's right. I see. Lost boy. Yeah. That man wants to kill you as well. If you want to survive, you will have to fight him. You will have to fight for your life. Do you think you can do that? He's a lot bigger than I am. He is. So how do you suppose you can beat someone like that? Someone bigger and stronger than you? I don't know. I'm scared. I... feel stronger but I want you to try something for me what's that I want you to close your eyes and imagine you're in a field okay you're grazing you are this stack you are enjoying your life you're surrounded by people who accept you, agree with you. Life is fun and easy. And then you hear something, a snap of a twig, almost like a brittle bone breaking. And you look up sharply, quickly. Who do you see? That's him. That's right. What do I do? What do you do? What do you do uh, indeed? I'm too scared to move. Then you will die. I can run. You can run or you can fight. It doesn't matter how big or strong he is. If your will is stronger, if you're smarter, if you're faster, you can be free.
But oh, LJ, there is but a third option here. You are but yourself. And of course, that man is but you as well. There is but one vessel to share. You both have told me a great deal about each other. However, have you ever spoken to each other? Um, no. Oh, come with me. Let us find somewhere where we all can sit together for a chat. You know what? How about you take us somewhere? Okay. Where are we? We're in Mrs. B's kitchen. Or in her dining room, at least. I see. So nice for you to have invited me. LJ. This, of course, here is LJ. I'm sure you have been acquainted, but never met before. Young LJ. Why don't you tell this big man here what it is that frets you so? Then why don't you start? Tell him to his face. Where should I begin, man? Where should I begin? <laughs> Quite frankly, I don't like you. Not at all. In fact, uh, quite frankly, I hate you. You're weak. You're cowardly. If it wasn't for me, we'd both be dead. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? Young LJ. I don't know. I, um... I, I, I... What do you have to say to this man? I hate him too. Why? I hate him because of the things that he did, the things that he does. But he did them for you. He did them because you couldn't. Maybe at first. What about all those other things he did? What about all those people in Guarma? What about them? What about them, man? What about them? Those people, they were... dull.
and they just didn't they just didn't get it you know they just didn't get it i wish they did what do you mean by it it man they don't get it everything everything they just couldn't understand the things that i was saying and they 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 didn't get it and they just didn't agree with it because they didn't get they didn't get it if they got it they would have agreed young lj what does he mean by this do you know i know i know i just don't want to i don't know if i should say you are safe here among friends He, um, he, he would go and, and, and he'd talk to people who were wandering on the beach and, and he would invite them back to where he was staying. Hey, listen now. All right, listen. Let him speak. <sighs> and... And, and he'd, he'd enjoy talking to them for a little bit. But eventually they'd, they'd say something, they'd get on his nerves, or he'd just lose interest. Bored? Were you bored? <sighs> Come on, look. You can't blame me, right? I don't. Exactly. These... <laughs> it's just... <sighs> no one ever got it, you know? If they got it, I wouldn't have had to do that. We could have uh, I had a nice thing going on, and they just didn't get it. What nice thing? I All I've wanted was to have a community. That's what... Everything on Guarma was. That's what everything in Little Valley was. That's what everything in the Boondocks was. I just wanted a community of people that got it and people that understood. Right? Young LJ. Yeah. It seems to me as if, perhaps, you understand. No. Uh, I, I do. You get it. Yeah, I, I get it. At least you have one there, sir. <laughs> oh. well, there's one there's one that I don't like and why again don't you like him because if you want to survive you have to be strong you have to be willing to do things and are you not already doing those things for him yeah, and he holds me back. How? Because he's always... so f fucking scared. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do this. It'd be a lot easier... if he wasn't around. Because then I wouldn't have anything in my ear bothering me. I would just be doing. Hmm. And what is it you want to do now? Tell me. Why is this fear so bad? It looks as if 
the first course has arrived. I want you to think about the first time he held you back. Do you remember? I remember. Tell me, if you don't mind. When I had gotten back, I tried to find people that would get it, right? They, they, that that understand it. Yes. And I did. I found them. Did you? I did. Were they real? No, they were real. What was it like? It was nice. It was nice, and and what I should have did was just focused everything on them, keeping them close to me, and stopping anything from the outside from getting in. But this, this, this worm, he he just can't let go of his attachment. His attachment to what? Is it not the same attachment you have? No. No, no. Uh, his attachment to the past. All his, all his old friends that, that just don't get it. He's the reason that little community never worked. Is he? That's right. Because it sounds to me like all you've done is talk about the past. What you should have done, what you had, what you wanted. What he took from you. Did he take it or did you fuck it up? Do you hate him? Or do you hate yourself? Because you know you're responsible. The only one here to blame is LJ. We're not playing anymore. You are the lost boy. And you know it. Here we go. Did you do something? Did you turn your back on someone? I couldn't make up my mind. I wanted, I wanted too much. What was too much? I wanted everything old and everything new. I didn't want to give anything up. And that just caused problems. What if? This boy that you hate. What if this boy is the only one left who understands you? Who understands it? Should you not then keep him close? And not let anything outside in? I... I... Where's all your venom? Is it gone? No. I... You're almost... 
almost there. LJ, do you have anything to say to the young boy? Once again, you have been striving to find this group, this collective, who get it, this group that you would protect, this group you would fight for. Now, the one and only person you have ever found who gets it? Sits across from you on this table. Is he not worth fighting for? Protecting. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. You remember the items I asked you to bring, yes? I do. And you remember I also asked you what they meant. And we saved yeah. one for last. What was that? The heart. The heart of a bird whose flight I stole. That's right. I asked you what you thought it meant and you didn't know. Do you know now? No. no I, I still can't figure it out. This boy. Or this man. In the buckskin jacket robbed you of your flight. You're trapped, grounded, unable to fly and be free. Your hatred of each other has caged you. Now you are going to eat this heart. and get your wings back. How badly do you want your freedom? Ever since they put me in that little cage. You don't have to be caged anymore. Take it. It's yours. <laughs> That's it. Very good. Lost boy. Very good. That was a great meal. We should come here more often, I think. Only time will tell. Indeed. I wonder who will open their eyes. LJ, the former. 
LJ the Elder. Both in concert, perhaps. Working together. Or perhaps... Someone... New. But all... At the same time. Time will tell. Just so. Thank you again, madame. My pleasure. I shall monitor him for now. You know where to find me. Of course. I thought I knew. I thought I knew what I wanted here. I was curious to see if a mask born of pain, need, survival could overtake a child and stand alone. At the moment he started talking, the lost boy. Hmm. I understand him. Both of them. Goodbye, Drummond. Travel safe. One second, fuck. Pumpkin berry, wow. 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 Everyone give it up for pumpkin berry, please. I, 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 uh, Oh, pumpkin berry. Thank you so much. Can everyone follow pumpkin berry really quickly, guys? Can everybody follow pumpkin berry on Twitch? Please. And Meyer as well. Some 
everybody man thank you everybody once again can everyone please 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 follow pumpkin berry man i'm 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 stunned i really have i i i i i man shimble thank you so much for the gift subs shimble thank you thank you thank you so much for the gift subs dude Darth, man. Darth, thank you immensely. Thank you immensely for the gift subs, Darth. Thank you so much. Ball the Barbarian, thank you so much for the gift subs as well. Holy hell, holy shit. Ball, thank you, man. Thank you, let me, hold on, I need to put a... so much ball the barbarian thank you so much thug cats thank you for the bits man so when was that took place in the story between the last stream and this stream. said I want you to do me a favor said I want you to keep your hand in the and when I get down by the river church Jake, thank you so much for the bitch, Jake, man. Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Tentacle Meow, thank you so much for the five gift subs, dude. Tentacle Meow, thank you, man. All the breaks, thank you, dude. 
Thank you, man. All the breaks. Thank you, Darth. Thank you for the sub, man. Hydro. Thank you for the 15 months. Jupiter. Thank you for the four months. Silvers. Thank you for the 19 months. Droogie. Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you so much, everybody. Guys, please. Pumpkinberry made that video. Pumpkinberry made that video. Please follow her. Give her love. Give her support, please. Droogie, man. Droogie, thank you, dude. Thank you. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Droogie. Holy cow, man, Droogie, Shimble, Darth, Ball the Barbarian, thank you so much, Ball, Shimble, Droogie, Darth, Thugcats, Jake, Tentacle Meow, thank you, man, all the breaks, thank you, Darth, thank you, Hydro, thank you, don't slam into that guy, Droopa Me, thank you, Silvers, thank you, Droogie again, I got a message from heaven the other day. She said, my wet down here is finished. And he said, just got you and I've been free for a mighty long time. He said, I want you to do me a favor. She said, I want you to keep your hand in the garden. And when I get down by the river jet, this is what I do for you. I'll wait on you. On you and dry. Ain't that mighty good? It's the gang, man. Good evening, my friends. How you doing, LJ? Where are you coming from? Thieves, headed back east to Van Warren. Where are you who, going? Who is in Thieves right now? Nobody. Empty. Yeah, the ghost town. Where have you been? Haven't seen Thank you, you so last much for the follow. Mind you, I wasn't around yesterday. I'm not sure if you were. Oh, I've been all over the crossing. What's going on? You're headed Wallaby towards Van Horn? Wallaby went to jail. You disappeared. Yeah, we're going that way. Well, I'll follow you then. We got a little, a, uh, an, an event tonight. There's a, uh, fight night going on. Don't suppose you fancy getting your hands dirty. All right, let's go this way. He's been in Texas, getting ready for the final transformation. Man, oh, fuck, yeah, I was not ready to talk to these people. What's been happening since I've been gone? He's been taking charge. Uh, they did a bank the other day. I wasn't there, I couldn't be there that day. I've been out west. Uh, somebody came and beat up Wesley today, but that's been all solved and figured out. Have you spoken to Eli? I have not heard from him, no. Speak to Eli. I sent him a telegram yesterday, but... I haven't heard back yet. Visit Dahlia. That's what I sent him a telegram to do. Good. Unless she's been moved, I know where she is. 
thieves anymore. They moved her. All right. They were concerned about her safety. They were right. Big Finn. Zerk the jerk, man. Thank you for the 14 months. Fuck, I'm like, I'm like destroyed right now, man. Oh, yeah, I'm like actually destroyed. Wait to hear back from Eli. He'll contact you soon, I'm sure. Hopefully. I'd ever seen her. No, oh, yeah. Remember the person I used to run with, the little gang? Yeah, yeah. You get all stabbed up. Cut up. I hear that. She was in a coma, she in a coma, at least as far as I know. Yeah. I see. I hoping she wakes up soon. Hopefully. She had a fever the last I saw her. Much stronger than I strong. am. Say that again, LJ. Much stronger than I am. Well, there you go. And Eli's been taking care of us. So. Human, you're wanted by the way, LJ. Exceptionally so. Okay. Yeah. I don't intend on being caught. Yeah, neither do we. Yep, neither do I. Just, just wanted to make sure I know who's one and who's not. Who can be, who can distract and who can't. Oh, man. You want to stop me? We're going to Ansberg. My heart yeah, is heavy heart right, heart right now, dude. I have this, like... I felt like I drank off. concrete, man, and I got this, like, hardening in my fucking, like, under the chest, man. I'm, I'm, Droogie, I'm fucked up, man. I'm fucked up. I, oh, man. I ran into these guys. I wasn't ready yet. But let's take that energy and let's place that into the character. I'm not ready yet, but let's place it into the character. The character's also not ready yet. I seen Harry? Ariel. Ariel. I got a strange telegram about a week ago. I got one as well. Blackboard is saying, hope you're well. I didn't have a name or anything attached to it. I received one, but it had an A attached to it. An A? That's right. I almost thought I saw her one day, but they were just riding through Van Horn real quick. Was she alone? They were alone. I didn't get a chance to catch up to them. I was at the end of the dock when I saw them. And by the time I got to where I could get a horse, they were gone. I'm not sure if I still have her telegram or not. Can you give that to me when we get to town? Yeah, I can. I got it to the room. Thank you. Oh, man. The 
pumpkin berries thing, man. Ay, ay, ay. I have to change the ending of LJ's story now. All of that, by the way, was RP'd. Like the, the narration over it was, was RP'd. We didn't have a script or anything like that. Where can I find the video? I gotta hold on. I gotta ask Pumpkinberry if they uh, if they uploaded it somewhere. Thank you everybody for the gift subs, man. Thank you so much, man. But again, that was Pumpkinberry. That was all Pumpkinberry, man. Please give her support. Give them support. They they stream on pumpkin uh, at Pumpkinberry on Twitch, and they were uh, they were they were doing a D and D session today on a channel called Table Story, I believe. I'll have to check it again, but I believe it's a channel called Table Story. They are amazing. They are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna take these to the docks. Quick exit. All right. That's a deputy. That's a deputy, my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of that was RP'd, man. We didn't have a script or anything. All of that was RP'd. Uh, there were a lot more pauses in real life, though, as like I, I try to like formulate, like how, how, like what would be amazing. But it was edited so well. It was edited so well. Fuzzy Monster, thank you. I just messaged Pumpkinberry. They said they're gonna un they're gonna make the video public, and then I'll I'll, I'll link the uh, I'll put the link in uh, in Discord. I'll put the link in the Discord. I, I wanted to make sure it was okay. Please follow them on YouTube. Please follow them on Twitch. Please, man. Oh, it is, it is, I'm in a, I'm in a very, I'm in a very specific mood, man. I'm in a very specific mood after watching that. So did LJ kill and eat people in the cave? Have I ever outright said what I, what he did in Guarma? I don't know if I ever outright said what he did in Guarma. No, I think I did. I'm at the stable. Someone that knows, write it in the chat, because if I did, then, then. You know, it's already been said. I just, uh, if not, we'll keep it ambiguous because I think it's more interesting. Implied he poisoned a ton of people. All right. That's the implication, yeah. Crazy Eagle. Hopefully, dude, we'll be able to RP with each other soon, man. Hopefully, we'll be able to RP with each other. Jefferson, Jefferson's, uh, Correct on that. I've I've implied that I poisoned a bunch of people in Guarma. Something to talk about. 
Yes, it seems like you both have something to talk castle? about. I'll leave you alone then. I'm not afraid of the seer right now, man. Things been back here. We've just been doing a couple of errands, making a little bit of money here and there. Things are fine. I think they're getting set up for the fight night. All that right, all young right. Young gentleman there doing good work. Indeed. Nancy around? I uh, know, actually. Not People yet. People are looking okay. for her, but she's not right. around. I'm sure she'll turn up. Probably. I, I fucking hope so. You should. Because I know I, I sure as hell didn't organize this. Yeah, damn. I'm just security. We just security. Speaking of which, uh, oh, man. yeah, we'll be we will be uh, doing security. KJ, thank you for the follow. Get a hundred bucks in their pocket after the fact. Um, we mm -hmm. will we'll be doing some rotations because somewhat. I, I want someone to be keeping an eye on the main door or, or outside. Just well, they're but gonna, they're I do not want it. that person to you, get uh, the end in of the stick. So we're going to be I'm doing rotating the video in, uh, shifts in, on in that. The on the Every chat. like 15 minutes or so. You, uh... I'm going to post it there. I'm going to post it in the Discord. Trouble? Uh, no. Does Eddie have that dumb honest, little no. mustache? He does. But you never know who get, you gets wind of these events. And I, I posted the uh, the link to the video in uh, in yeah. Discord. So if you want to see, oh, they want to come here and the Discord, Vin and Van Horn, the, they can do with us. It channel. Would, yeah, it'd be a very poor choice for them, but you know. Is the barman around? We'll see. I doubt anything will come of it. To be honest, we can probably all just sit back and relax, enjoy the show. However, I do want to just keep security tight, just in case. We'll figure it out. Like I said, we'll just rotate. So uh, you don't even have to leave if you want. You can just stay inside the rug store at the top floor. Just keep an eye on that door. Make sure no one's coming in. If they do, you fucking scream. God damn. He just wants to scream like, you don't, like, like, ah. Like, ah. Like, ah. It's people here. Oh, you might have heard him for a second while I opened up the video. Until I get the no, I don't think they do something like that. You think they? You're expecting that? Like I said, I'm just, I'm just one of being prepared is good. Yeah. As prepared as we can be, I think it will go off without a hitch. I think people know not to fuck around around here. We're uh, holding that strong, Pete. Indeed, indeed. George here's fighting tonight, so we'll see what he's made up. And I'll tell you what, George did damn fine work. Really made up for the lack, for the slack that was on that last, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Slack. Indeed. If it was for George, well, George and Alvin, two of them. Indeed. That was good work. Eddie, speaking of which, do you have anything from that job? No. You don't? When did this happen? When when I this happened between oh, my last stream and this stream. I dropped everything. I barely made it out. Yeah. So, Alright, right. understood, understood. Uh, That's a damn the, shame, the video but I'm, I'm damn glad shame. you didn't get arrested. To my right. knowledge, though, Alvin had most of it. Yep, so and, I, and he's giving it to me. So we've got six bars out of that and uh, a few bombs. Okay. So we'll, it's not a full delivery, but it's something. It's something, yeah. I'm sure it will keep them uh, busy for a little bit. We got a bunch of law and train conductors in Ansburg right now. Not I sure what train they're started planning. at some point. Probably preparing a uh, security transport of some kind. Indeed. One of the armored trains out yesterday. Well, Ooh. are we really ready? Up. Would we be ready for something like that? Maybe hey, they were no, pretty well armed. Doing... They were pretty well armed yesterday. They had guards on every train car with guns ready. 
What the fuck are they transporting it? That's what I was wondering. Looked like another group has already chased them, though. Must have been some high-value prisoner. Interesting indeed. Because y'all talked about trains, right? Yep. Uh, are we ready for something like that? Are we, uh... Not today. We, Not we today. Fo we're focusing on the fight night today. It's only an hour away, roughly. Indeed. That end, uh, I'd rather uh, keep everyone out of trouble until then. We just made some quick errands, and even then we were being very careful. A, a train, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'm eager, but right now... Uh, I told Nancy that we were going to be security for the fight night, so that's what we're going to do. Apparently, that's been the whole gig for the past two or three fight nights What I haven't, when I haven't been here. So, we're going to keep that up. Is that anyone ain't got any problems with that? I don't got any problems with it. All right. Also, we got some good fucking news. Scout and Dakota are both being released today at uh, 9 p.m. EST. So not right too far from now. Two and a half yeah, hours. Probably during, to be honest. A little less. I doubt the fight. It's going, the fight is going to be over in that long. You never know, though. Uh, we can convene then with all of them. And... Indeed. Make sure everybody's up to date on what's going on. Wesley's quick but hmm, somewhat maniacal thinking actually paid off when we managed to get some significant time off Wallabies and uh, Scout sentence. Four months each, to be precise. What did you do? He kidnapped two law and kept them for days. <laughs> that worked? Feeding them scraps and raw food. I'm Even assuming they were getting reduced time anyway. Because there's no way that I don't want to interrupt your conversation, Mr. Oh. Pete. I only want to let you know that there are a lot of lawmen in Ennisburg. I'm aware, yeah. I'm aware. I don't think they're right. planning on anything. I think they're uh, there for a train. Security for a train. There was a few train conductors there, too, so... That's what All I'm right. assuming, anyway. Uh, but, yeah. Be ready for fucking anything. If they turn up, well, we'll deal with it. My other of course. I doubt they're gonna do anything like that. No, they only saw really you. I don't think anyone would have recognized me. At least the deputies I saw there. I think they would have tried something back there. If they were, if, like, you know, that was a perfect opportunity. But I think I only saw two deputies at the time. And there was four there was of us, like, so. There was two, there was two more on the train rail side. And there was another one at least inside the uh Ooh, the, there was the, a bunch what's of it called? telegram station. There. Fuck. I see. And they didn't seem too eager. Indeed. They Indeed. must be waiting for a train. Was that Nancy there? Yeah, it looks like it. Good news. To be able to handle that. Yep. Yeah, fellas, we got a few people in pose. I heard there was some people uh, here for Wesley. Yeah, y'all see it though, right? It's the way it is, the way the people been acting ever since they got locked up. People trying their hands. Today, well, that's just the first bite. Came in here demanding blood. Yeah. Well, they were, they were sending a message all right, I can tell you that. It's a good thing I wasn't here, I guess. They probably wouldn't have walked out alive. That's the thing, though. We can't be running off. Causing no hell with no gangs just because. Well, it was to the situation, though. Uh, the man has a grievance because the daughter was a deputy. The deputy that Wesley had kidnapped. That's the connection. Then the political ramifications of an outlaw gang doing the bidding of a lawman. I thought I'd never see the day, but this fucking place is twisted. Wait, what happened? It wouldn't be. 
Frankly, what they should be saying is why does she have a badge? They should be convinced her not to be an little lawman. So they're coming after the people that did something to her. Apparently, apparently it wasn't her, though. It wasn't that particular lawman. It was a different lawman who had told that gang to do what they did. What are you talking about? I see. Gang right ran in here trying to enact vengeance on what Wesley did to the deputy because the deputy has a father who runs the gang. But it wasn't the deputy's daughter who told the gang about what Wesley did. It was a different deputy who told that gang about what Wesley did and pointed them in the direction. And then they came what? for blood. But we negotiated and we came to an understanding. It was odd how when you ask a deputy what happened, they say, oh, we can't tell you we haven't caught the person yet. Sure. And then a lot of, course, of that. I mean, that's course, you know, right there, but we know that's been a seed thing inside the department. Here. Yeah. What I'm saying is them. they had the balls come down here, group of five, guns out. Poor thing. Look at us. Was there, man. Gold gang. Wait. Golden hounds. Golden gold. hounds. The gold okay. gang? Maybe. Something like that. And, uh. Jesse Gold? It came to man, but, but that's the thing, fellas. We can't just jump into no hell bent war with no gang just over some grievance. It was concluded, but that's what. We, I mean, are y'all not worried about that? Y'all ain't got mm. an opinion on that? I mean, first it was the other. And then so we, Bernie had something to say. Now nah, this gang coming down demanding blood. They it's want just, blood for how we treated it. Nah, DPD. It was paid. It was paid. But yeah. That's how right. does that make any sense? That's the, the, dog. Gang was was the daughter of, of the gang leader. Yeah. Of his name oh, Dollars. The, the daughter chose the life. Why the fuck right, are they getting they, revenge for in a DPD? Family, they I understood guess. that. They understood that. And they knew it wasn't going to look good. So they settled on a beatdown for Wesley. They settled Wesley on a beatdown. All didn't right. Pay too need... much. He just paid the price. I need a couple well, of you to you, dude. For You're not getting shit. Detail tonight. I'll, I'll find your daughter and I'll shoot right. her again. Yeah, downstairs. Uh, well, you, yeah, well, you won't be downstairs. We need two people upstairs. Uh, he will be rotating back and forth and keeping each other company. But come over here. And it, we need another volunteer. Well, I suppose I'll grab it. All right, Matt. Thank you. All right. For all intents and purposes, Nancy is your boss. Yeah, we probably got some business to take care of later tonight, right? Hey, buddy. You know what? I think my horse is actually past him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hop on this horse and ride off to save face. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> they they negotiated to let Wesley get a beat down, dude. <laughs> They negotiated. They said, all right, don't kill Wesley, but you can rough him up a little bit.
I don't think my horse is coming. Oh, I hear it. There it is. I'm trying to big brain right now where where the safest location would be to him saying buddy while you walked away was so sad. I don't know why. I already started walking, man. I couldn't stop. So I was away from the computer for a second. Was something said or done that made LJ walk away like that? They started giving out uh, guard positions. They started assigning guard roles for who was going to be uh, defending the the fight night. I have other man, I don't want to sit around for 2 hours, dude. I got other things I want to do. I got, like, story that I want to push, man. I don't want to sit there for two hours guarding something that will never be attacked. And if it does, man, let the people that are there fight it. Fuck it. There's, like, story shit that I want to do. Am I safe, man? Am I safe at, at the uh, Emerald Station here, man? I want to, like, check my telegrams and, like, respond to people and shit. Ah, I know for a fact that the law likes to, like, watch that one from the hill. Story is just the vehicle to get from one PvP to another. Ay, 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 man. Everyone's blaming me. Everyone's saying, oh, uh, Graham just wants to PvP. That's all he does. No! Oh! They're spreading lies about me. These are the same people that are poisoning our troops. Ram the PvP or no! The one near Tall Trees? To be honest, there's none of them that are safe unless I go to Benedict Point. Oh, maybe Coulter. That's too far. What I'm gonna have to do, man, is I'm gonna have to write my my telegrams. I'm gonna have to read the telegram, run away, write it in a notebook, and run back. Graham actually stands for great. Reinforcements arrive. March, men. Parentheses, time for PvP. Ay, 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 wait a minute. Coulter has a telegram station. It has a telegram station now, after the uh, Frontier update. <laughs> Dirty little PvP or fan of the hammer is just an expression. Ay, ay, ay.
People are spreading, uh, people are spreading malicious rumors about me. Nasty, nasty rumors. Ram T. Gibbons locking on to wild PvP for another day of fanning that hammer. Ay, 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 no! I haven't played in a couple days, man. I'm gonna be rusty as hell. I hope no one runs into me. I have some story stuff I want to do bad. I want to make it to Thieves, man. Oh, they're not at Thieves anymore. I need to find Eli. You have to do the story stuff or else. Nasty little people, he did everything right. We attacked him. Man. Ugh. I'm still I'm still getting hit by that video, man. I'm still dwelling on that video. I'm still reeling from it. I have to admit, I took nothing from that conversation at Van Horn. It went in one ear, not the other. Still reeling, same. Same, I was still like, I was still simmering on that video, man. Uh, all, I, all I really got from that is uh, guard duty and they like let people beat up Wesley. Guarma for a quick trip to get some things for Dolly. It shouldn't be more than a day. Edwin, hope to see you around today. I need your help. We need a solid head besides me. Clem, please come meet with me. No tricks, just a discussion. Clementine. Edwin B., I'm sure you're busy today, man. When you find the time, can we talk? <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. Uh, did he just send that? Oh, he just sent that. Uh. Uh. Rare Edwin Telegram. Smokey sends, sends them like three a year. Here, riders. You move Dolly again? I'd like to visit her with Matt. LJ, SI011. SI011. There are rumors. Yeah. 
Thank you, May. Folk have seen you. Around the crossing. There are rumors that folk have seen you around the crossing. We can speak. We'll speak. How do you spell oblige? I spelt it right. I'd like to speak if you would oblige me. Who else do I have? Man, I don't know if I want to meet with Clementine. I feel like it'd be juicy, but I don't think I'm in the right mindset right now. Also, it'd be really sus if someone found us. If you would uh, try to kill me. Hmm. Clementine. Send her name. Clementine. That's a way of getting uh, people killed. I promise not to bring any tricks either. Who else, uh, who else should I telegram, man? I gotta be fast before somebody stumbles across me. Eddie, Eli, Jojo, Marcel, Maria, Matt, Coiner. Clementine, Ariel, Jojo. What would I say to Jojo? I have a bad mindset, man, where, where when I send a message, I want to communicate important information. And that stops me from, like, uh, being able to keep up, uh, messages through, uh, would, would LJ care to hear what L Eddie has to say? Yes, but later. Rennie. Do I even have Rennie's telegram anymore? I don't. I have Vera's. But no Rennie. Who's Maria? I have Maria's. Rennie would be a nice reunion. I, I think we need to progress a little bit further before we do the Rennie thing. I feel like right now would be too soon. I feel like right now would be a little too soon. Oh, I should say something to JoJo though, man. 
Eh, I don't know. I'm bad with I'm bad with just sending like, hey, how are yous? You know who's really good at that? Nia, man. I wish I had that ability. I wish I had the ability to just kind of say like, what's going on to somebody. But if I talk to somebody, man, I want to like have something interesting for them. Maria hung out with LJ for a day or two. I don't really remember her. When he joined the Communistas. Yeah, I'm explicitly not talking in Riddle right now. <laughs> Express an interest in them. I have no idea. Oh, I would have lo uh, I would have loved to join some communist thing. Die, thank you so much for the follow. I think with communists, right? The time period we're in right now, at least, at least role playing wise, right? I, uh, you would not. like, go out of your way to hate communists, right? But, uh, you know, people, people did dislike communists back during this time. Just not enough to, like, really dedicate myself. You know, people still hated communis communism during this time, but this is, uh... This is before... When is Russia become the Soviet Union. 1910s? So it's before it's like a global thing, like a global superpower. But it's, uh... People still... 1917? Uh, but people still hate it. End of World War One. that's right. People still hate communists during this time period, though. But it's not, it's not something that your mind, like, would immediately go to, like, oh, I should hate communists, uh, blindly. Right? That's like an eight, like, uh, the 80s server? That knee-jerk reaction to, like, everyone hating communists? That was great to feed off of and make your character a communist. But, uh, right now, people just kind of go, oh, okay. It's a, it's a little tough. It's a little tough. Because you, you have, um... Like, unless people are conscious about going against it, you have a lot of modern sensibilities. Unless people are conscious with, uh, with going against it and, like, fighting it, you have a lot of modern sensibilities. Right? So, like, if you start talking about any religion, people will, uh, instinctively, right, start feeling like you're a cult, even if you're, like, not that. Right? I mean, in my case, yes, it is a cult. But, uh, in, in other cases, if, if a character is just a religious character, unless they're, like, exceptionally timid, uh, people will probably just kind of go, oh, that's cult. Whereas, being 
fervently religious during this time period is is very realistic All right and most people during this time period this place in the world will probably be you know very specifically christian and also you're getting uh you're getting the rise you're getting the rise of uh these american um these american christian sects right you're getting the rise of these american christian sects that the the christian scientists you're getting the rise of the christian scientists jehovah's witnesses you're getting the rise uh, I, I when when does mormonism become a thing i think that might have been earlier in the century but you're getting mormonism very very specific very american specific sects even though uh christian science is a european thing but it was only really got a foothold in the americas Slop boy! Slop boy, thank you, man! Mormonism is the 1800s, so it would have been it would have been earlier in the century, right? Slop boy, thank you for the gift sub, man. Jehovah's Witnesses, your Seventh-day Adventists would be big and they'd have a lot of wealth. And then, and then your, you know, more traditional Christian sects would all, would, would permeate. It would probably be weirder. And it would make a lot of people uncomfortable if you claimed to uh, be an atheist during this time period. Cheeks, man. Pumpkinberry made that video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go to go to her Twitch. Subscribe to her Twitch. Pumpkinberry. She made that video. It's so good. I think a lot of people who uh, were more atheist during this time period and, and about a century or two before would kind of call themselves deist instead of atheist. I know a lot of the Founding Fathers uh, called themselves Deist. Which is, it's, it's uh, the idea that, that there is some sort of God-like being out there, but is, is perhaps not the Christian God, is what Deism was. Which was a little bit more palatable than atheism during this time period. I, I I got halfway through the video breezy. I didn't fin I couldn't finish the video by myself because it was too intense, man. Agnosticism, a kind of early agnosticism, yeah. But I would love to have a character that's just very earnestly religious. But I don't know how to do that without creeping people out. Or, uh, like instantly ostracizing myself. Uh, creeping people out both in and out of character. I don't think anyone's like really playing an atheist. It's just a lot of like your your own sensibilities kind of bleed in to your characters without you thinking up, you know, without you being really conscious of it, unless you're making a conscious effort and a conscious attempt to uh, act against those sensibilities, right? So you start hearing a character speak very religiously, just instinctually, 
you kind of like start going, oh, this is this character's weird. He's making me uncomfortable. There's something going on with this guy. Imagine a imagine a John Brown type character, man. Obviously, you can't do slavery, but just just a, a very earnestly religious guy. Super religious people fl tend to flock together, and there's less of them now, and I guess it's hard to separate. You you see you see less of them now. I think there's still many many religious people out there, but but you're right. They do tend to to stick together. Um, Oh fuck, I'm in Arma- I'm in... The desert, man. Oh, I was just riding without thinking. Breezy! You just snapped me into reality right now. You just snapped me into reality. Uh, I gotta go to Benedict Point. See if anyone telegrammed me back. The Choir Boy Saga and some more uh, recent stuff showed quite a lot of bit of- uh, Quite a lot of people are anti-religion or anti-God. In active opposition. I do think, especially now, there are many, many people that are, uh, at the very least, anti-traditionally organized religion. I think a lot of people still want spirituality in their lives, which is why you see a, a, a lot of um, new age stuff, new age stuff, uh, Wicca is, is the one that I'm thinking of and it's in the forefront of my mind. Uh, but I think a lot of people are, are disillusioned with, uh, traditional, uh, Western religious, uh, concepts. I've seen people have success in making the character resemble a group of people who are very religious in modern times. Southern, Latino. We are in a, a dangerous topic right now. I'm treading water in a very dangerous topic right now. <laughs> and on the plus side, we're on a safe telegram station. Probably one of the only safe ones in the crossing. Firebrand religious character would be very good in generating conflict. Matt. Uh, where's Matt? He's under Dahlia's friend. That What a fucking terrible thing. It's sad because even Verts loved his priest. But everyone was so, uh, anti-religion, it wasn't very enjoyable. I don't think a lot- because it, it's- it's very real is the thing, right? That's like another problem. It's very real. And I think- I think, uh... There's a lot of real... animosity towards... very... fervently, zealously religious people. I uh, 
in the world right now. It's a little it's a little striking too close to home. It's not really a thing that I, I it's a thing that definitely makes people very uncomfortable. Cause I when when you say when you say like uh, uh Imagine someone who's extremely religious. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? The first thing that immediately came to my mind is, uh... Good evening. Did my team speed crash? No, we're good. All right. Oh my God, man. I would have been fucked. If that was law, I would have been fucked. I, I could not run. I could not run. I think, uh, I think, I think being, I think you can have your character be spiritual. If it's not. A, a, a very specific traditional, uh, religion. Right? Cause you have, you have some, some characters that are very spiritual that believe in like witchcraft or or shamanism and i i think i think that just doesn't have the same kind of connotation to it which is why you'll see some really cool shaman characters or witch characters and people love uh, interacting with those guys What's like a what's like a religion that just died where that we could like bring back? What's like a religion from this time period? There's so many religions from this time period that started and then died as soon as the founder uh like passed away. Cause unless you have a very strong second in command. Didn't you see many doubt? Unless you have a very strong second in command, your uh your religion's gonna die. Uh once the founder dies. I wouldn't want to do anything that's like still around today. Just to uh avoid Portraying them in a in a not great way. What's like something that would be like commonplace? Like right now. Isn't that the difference between a cult and a religion? I'm gonna say something that's very, uh, I'm gonna say something that's gonna be very controversial. And I know I usually say that and then say something very not controversial, but I mean it this time. Uh, and this is something that's gonna really either offend you or make you, or make you think and go, huh. Cult is a value judgment. Labeling something as a cult, I uh, explicitly means 
uh, explicitly means that it's something that you don't like. Like, that's the implication of calling something a cult. It's like a group that you don't like. I, I can call any group that I don't like a cult and be kind of correct about it. Any group, not even religious. Not even religious. I, I, can, I can call any religion a cult and, and it'll be very hard for you to disagree with me on it. But I can call uh, other things cults too. I can call the Boy Scouts a cult. I can call the police a cult. The cult, uh, the word cult is just something that you put on a group that you don't like. Let's, uh, let's, let's be a little pedantic and let's, uh, let's change the, the, de the, the wording to a high control society or a high control group. Right? A high control group, just in the, in the name. I know that's, that's something that like modern people, I forget the exact term. I'm pretty sure it's high control group. That's something that people, cause that's something you can really define, right? That's something you can really define because it has, uh, it has very measurable things. And there are specific qualities that a high control group has. I can pull them up. It's like a thing you can just like look up. Hold on. High control group. All right. I know uh cuz a lot of a lot of the the conversation on this subject has has shifted as 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 definitions and words and terminology just shifts over time. I uh, really speaking about cults has has shifted because the word has become so diluted uh, that that now amongst those circles a high control group is is the the preferred definition so here here are the signs that you're in a high control group all right the group has no official forum channel a uh, forum or channel for critical inquiry or formally raising concerns complaints and grievances group leaders encourage questioning but only in early stages of your association with the group and only on their own terms <laughs> Group leaders will encourage you to check things out, but they will steer you only in the direction of approved sources. <laughs> the dogma taught by the group is contradictory, confused, and internally inconsistent. The dogma of the group does not fit your experience especially your experience prior to the involvement with the group or the experience of your family and friends outside of the group. The dogma of the group is not backed up by evidence or information cross reference from multiple reliable sources. The group and its leaders oppose or deny mainstream research findings and what is accepted and taught at leading universities and research institutes. The group uses thought reform methods of indoctrination. Group leaders ignore or discourage questions and forbid criticism and dissent. I think these are just the other ones, but like even, even more wild. Any self-doubt is encouraged. Magical thinking is prevalent. Leaders claim to have special insight 
and supreme knowledge. The leadership is authoritarian, charismatic, and narcissistic. Leaders are not accountable to other authorities. There are draconian and intrusive rules for members. The leaders are above those rules. The flow of information is subject to censorship and control. And the group as a whole is elitist with an elite inner circle at its core. Threats are made against members who leave. And outsiders or outsider groups are slandered and vilified. Members become increasingly isolated from former companions. And group identity takes precedence or replaces individual identity. The group performs secret rites and rituals. And in general, their events involve mind-altering practices. Members frequently experience feelings of shame, guilt, fear, and dread, and show a zealous commitment loyalty, and dependence to their leaders. Groups have a preoccupation with new members and proselytizing. They target the vulnerable with love bombing and idealistic goals. There is evidence of economic or financial exploitation and of punitive punishment even physical abuse. There may be evidence of sexual exploitation. And women especially are tightly controlled. Deception is normalized and the ends always justify the means. Those are all uh, signs of, of a high control group. Those are all things if, if, if your group practices that, then it's probably, it's probably a not good group of people. Right? But but uh, uh that that has a, a very specific defined uh um definition, right? And categories and, and things and qualities that make it up. Whereas cult it has just really been been very uh uh, it's, it's again, it's just a word that that people have have started to move away from because it's become so diluted. Thank you. All uh, all all the stuff that I found out while I was researching uh, cult stuff and cult behavior. LJ's group was a high control group that he managed very poorly, by the way. Van Horn is a high controlled group, a hundred percent. But when you have those definitions, it, it's it becomes more evident what is and isn't one of those groups, man. Graham actually made a real-life community to practice before RP. They now film his talk shows. 
<laughs> Billy the Orphan Camera Boy films the talk shows and he does a terrible job. He does a terrible job. He's always zooming in. He started the last stream looking at my feet. How was that intro, man? How was that intro? I recorded that intro. It must have been like 30 degrees. I was freezing, man. Little Gibbon, little Gibbon running across the screen. <laughs> Just wandering around, getting lost in the woods, man. The next intro is gonna be obscured trail cam footage. <laughs> so, I don't know if anyone's seen Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's, I don't know what his thing is. The something show with Jimmy Fallon. But he has this, uh, he has this little intro where he's like running to the studio and he's like running through the streets of Manhattan and he's like, he's like a little bit lost and he's like late for the show. And I said, what if I do that? But I'm like lost in the woods. Like I'm lost in the fucking, I'm lost in just this fucking middle of the wilderness. Lost in those Blair Witch Woods. Where was the Blair Witch recorded? I feel like that was in Pennsylvania, but I'm not sure. Now that I've said it out loud, I don't think it was. I love those kinds of things. The absurdist nature of the woods was a great touch. Nietzsche pointed it out, man. Was it in New York? Same woods then. Uh, Nietzsche pointed out that uh, the fact that I was wearing blue just stood out so boldly from the rest of the uh, the rest of the frame because there was nothing in that shot that was blue at all. It was dismal. It was completely dismal and gray outside. It was in Maryland. I still can't believe people were laughing at Henry Kissinger, man. I still can't believe- I still can't believe people were laughing at Henry Kissinger. You guys, you guys are effed up. You guys are fricked up. I, un I learned it from you. You're unironically a new station now. Uh, a new station now. Uh, we were we were writing the episode. We were writing the episode. Me and Nietzsche were like finishing up the like what we were gonna do. And Nietzsche goes. Nietzsche like laughs. He like laughs really hard. And he goes. And he goes. Graham. Graham. We we have a we're <laughs> Henry Kissinger just died. This episode is about Henry Kissinger now. <laughs> and he made me laugh really hard. Cause he just, he like, he laughed and then he said that and it was so demented. And he had died, he had died like 20 minutes before we went live. That is a this changes everything moment. It added another great layer like on top of, of what we already had, and I can't imagine that episode now without Henry Kissinger dying. Uh, so, Henry Kissinger, man, for, for the people that don't know, rest in piss, Henry Kissinger. Uh, Henry Kissinger is, uh, probably, probably one of the worst people to ever live. Probably one of the worst warmongering people to ever, uh, to ever live. He, he is, like, explicitly uh, responsible 
for millions of people dying. Um, and the fact that he won a peace prize is, is so incredibly fucked up. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's truly, it, it, we live in a clown world. The fact that he won a peace prize, we live in a fucking clown world. Not just dying, but other very nasty things as well. Henry Kissinger is responsible for killing many, many, many Vietnamese people, but not only Vietnamese people, Laotians, Cambodians, uh, many, many, many people in South America. And the dude lived to be a hundred, man. Uh, he had a, uh, he had a, he had a, uh, a plan. He had a plan. Uh, he, he did, he did treason on multiple, uh, occasions, by the way. A lot of the shit that he pulled off was just treason. Um, but he had a plan to defeat the Vietnamese. And... It was to invite, it was to invite all the leaders of Vietnam to, fuck, is that Eddie? It was to invite all the leaders of Vietnam to a peace talk and then uh, bomb their entire country while they were there and then hold them hostage. Want it off too? Is the fight night done or you just didn't feel like <sighs> what? <sighs> Throws hands up and ropes him quick. I don't understand what I don't understand what Where'd you, you run off to? And ru and throws hands up and ropes him quick. I have no idea what he's trying to what do. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing, Eddie? I have no idea what he what he meant by that. No, ma'am. I would appreciate you didn't treat me like I'm dumb, man. Yeah, yeah, they got a fight line up there. You know, you were there. They said it when you were there. That's right. And then, and then did you hear about, you know, them people? Parking at the door? I heard about them. And unless I misunderstood, and please tell me I did. You all let them rough Wesley up just a little bit? Uh, yeah. And you let that happen. It was either that or we would go to war. Would you have done the same thing if that was me, Eddie? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> would you have done the same thing if it was Wallaby? Yeah. Is that that's that's how it works man you know we spare the masses you know is that why you just trickle along because if that's what it is we could settle that you know Oh, the reason I trickled off is I didn't really fancy seeing myself as a guard all night. <laughs> no, we don't <laughs> fancy to see ours. 
we don't fancy to see ourselves anything, man. But you know, we gotta <laughs> we gotta be there. You know, it's a big night. You know, a lot of organizations are gonna be there. You know, and we got already three groups looking at the door. You heard what Pearly was saying, right? I mean, and now these people looking blood. But who cares about all that, right? Because that's clearly not a problem. Mm -hmm. Can you can you just please for me? Please what, Eddie? Please come back. Need me that badly? Psh, come on. <laughs> yeah, man. Of course Is that do. why you came all the way out here? Looking for me? I came the whole way out here. I've been chasing ever since you left. Don't respond no more to telegrams. I'm bad. I'm real bad at telegrams. I always have been, though. Oh, I know what that's like. You know, I know, I know you don't care all that much, man, but you know, people, they, they don't feel too good up there, you know? They don't feel too good about what? Uh, you know, about such, you know, the situation on the whole things and kind of, oh, you too, man. <laughs> well, I realize, Daddy, I don't really care too much what they think. But I tell you what, Eddie, for you, my friend, I'll follow you. Hey, why don't we take a detour? Where to? You know, I, I'm meaning to check out this lake. Apparently it's real special. Real special? Makes it so special. Fish. You know, they real big or something, you know? And, and oh, he's uh, gonna kill me. You know, and I, I trickle away too, man, and I was uh, visiting my auntie there. Oh, and he's gonna kill me. Uh, but, uh, you know, she big in the fish. I didn't know you were so into fishing, Eddie. No, no. That's why I said my auntie is. Ah. Uh, new, 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 LJ. We barely knew you. What is it you wanted to talk to me about, Eddie? Well, 
how you know just how people f feeling you know but you don't care too much about that hey you want to i'm okay I, I think we can sneak in we sneak in we'll get some stew Scout and Dakota aren't out yet, right? Nah. They gonna be spending some time. Man, do I do I ride off, or do I see what Eddie what Eddie wants, man? Sure you don't want one. up around here oh come on come on we gotta check on that lake oh. I should get a stew so that I'm not hungry when this happens If any, if if anyone would just on a whim decide to kill me, it's definitely Eddie. Is it left or right, man? I can never remember. I'm not sure. I don't spend a lot of time up here. Me neither. We can talk here. Yeah, I think right. He's acting sus, but he's always acting sus. So this is either a trap by the entire dead end gang, or this is a trap by him. Good morning. Or it might just be him showing me a thing and like having a heart to heart with me. somewhere to hit horse.
See anything? What is that? Any recognizable fish? Trout, maybe? Never been an exemplary fishing man, Eddie. Well, are they pink or are they salmon? You take a look at them, but if they ain't pink, I might be something else. Oh, get it, get a load of that. That's that's spring water, that. I think that's stagnant water, Eddie. I wouldn't drink that. Is it? <laughs> I never know the difference these days. Yeah, uh, about what I wanted to talk with you. You know, it's... I know, man. You know, I, I, I can't convince you anymore, you know? You know, Wall Wallaby, he, uh, you know, he told me that, you know. He told you what? You know, you gotta, you gotta, it's a, it's a man's choice. You either gotta be in or out, you know. And, and you, you gotta have to decide that for yourself. Otherwise, whatever adventure you put your head to, wait, well, you know, it's, it's you know, you, you know. You're not gonna really get the best outcome if you're not in it, you know? Your heart's not in it. What are you trying to say, Eddie? Well, you know, that's 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 you know, that's why people, you know, up up there and that's why they act like they act, man. And, and it's annoying, ain't it? You know? Real real annoying. You know, because it's, it's suffocate. It's also one, you know, it's a gift and a curse, right? To have what, what we have, you know, it's just the toll that comes with it. what man you don't give a damn anymore about no toll or no opinions I'm not a guard Eddie yeah I know man but 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 you know who like I I, I get it you know, cause I, you know, I shouldn't be down there with my auntie. You know, I should, I shouldn't be down there. You know, making fusses and, you know, attending dinners, which I rightly, from their standards, never mind ours. You know, you said I shouldn't. You shouldn't. Be in, in attendance. Well, you know, it, it, it. Who said you shouldn't, Eddie? I think you should. It was advised, you know, because yeah, the, the, you know, there's times where. You know, too much on your plate. And it can really add to the stress, you know. But I, I'm not against it. I get it, you know. But sometimes you gotta, you know, you gotta prioritize. You ain't been prioritizing. Which, uh, you know, is why. Which is why people are concerned, you know, and they, and they're concerned, <laughs> man. No, no, they're concerned. And, and you can't care a little, you know, just, just a little to, to mitigate them factors. How much more do you want me to care, Eddie? I don't know. If you want I've to talk shot numbers, for you. If, if you want to talk percentages, I've robbed I will. shit for you. Well, you know what it is, man. When your heart's not in it, your heart's not in it. When you, you need to be in it to say these things I to the people. I killed folk that, that... for you. Yes, but you're the one saying that to me. I'm not the one in question. And I'm they not the one to come talk to you. me, Eddie. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Doing this on the kindness of your heart. That's right. 
because once it starts, it don't stop. And once you're on that road, you can't get off it. And you just got back on. Well, who's trying to kick me off it? All of them. <laughs> well, I could have told you that from the beginning, Eddie. Yeah, but that can't you see that that's a, that's a problem? I don't think it'll ever not be a problem, is uh, what I'm saying. I don't think that uh, there's any way that these folk will ever uh, warm up to me. These folk? These folk. Well, they warmed up to me. And I ain't, <laughs> I ain't such the son Eddie, of Eddie, they have not warmed up to you, my friend. Eddie, they barely like you. They barely want you around. The only reason you're around is because Wallaby keeps you around for some reason. Nostalgia, maybe? Oh. Eddie. Come on. Don't tell me you haven't seen the way Scout looks at you. Scout was number two. He had a position. He had a. He had to look. He was out number for two. Because I was. I after had to he complained his order. about you, my friend. Very recent development. Well, I showed Pete is a, number a three lack of after gratitude. He complained about you as well. Well, the, 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 you know, the, that's what's in the stones, man. I see facts for facts, and I was showing a, a he lack of He replacing you, by the way. He, he took great joy in doing that. Remember, I think it might have been the day prior, Wallaby said to us, I want you and Eddie with me Leading Van Horn. It's the day prior. Yeah, that's right. And where are you right now? Hey, hey, I, I'm number two, okay? No, <laughs> you're number two. I'm for back another up. another hour, maybe you're number two. I'm number and two. And then you'll be number three. And then in a month, you'll be number four. And a month after that, who knows? Maybe uh, lower than that. Hey, hey, this goes deeper. Than, than the than the structure that we have in Van Horn, man. We we got an obligation. You were there at the graves that day. I was. This goes deeper than this. We got we got to see this through. Right? Can't be for nothing. I, I can't not see this through. I, I I I can't go back, man. I can't go back to tea parties, whatever the fuck else. I can't do that, man. I try. Then don't. That's right. I don't. I go back to the one place that I got, man, and that's 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 Van Horn, man, and that's that's you, that's him, that's all them people there, man. That's that's all I got. If you need to make accommodations, we can make them. Accommodations? Like what, Eddie? Well, we got enough money to do whatever accommodations. <laughs> but you need to communicate with, with the people, you know? No, you can't write off. Because I, I firsthand, man, I, I did it. You know, that's not the best way to communicate. You got to tell your problem. How much you need, man? I, I got it. You know? I don't need any money, Eddie. We'll square you off. <laughs> square me off. And, 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 yeah, whatever, whatever need is, you know, for an adventure. Set up a business, you know. Square off for whatever money. Listen, we can afford whatever it is. And put things right again, you know. We can, we can do that. Eddie, there's no amount of money that can fill any symbols. Symbols, holes. that's what you need. That's Eddie. what you need, symbols. All right, okay, uh, I got a Springfield. Eddie's you can have that. Springfield, Eddie. LJ, Come on, Eddie. Riding with it. Okay, okay, okay. I got an elephant rifle. I got an elephant rifle with your name on it. You can ride on this new adventure. 
Hey, I don't want an elephant with a with an elephant rifle in hand and ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and 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 we expand rapid expansion. I can see it, and the people they'll get behind it. They'll get behind it. You know, Eddie, you owe me something. All right. Yeah, of course, After man. After all this time, I don't think our debt was ever squared. Okay, okay. Sure, man. What, what, what's that? Well, shit, Eddie, you owe me half a chocolate bar. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, what, what are you walking off? What is this conversation, Eddie? Come on. You just told me you wanted another half of a chocolate bar. You... What about, you know, what, what I just said? Making it work. I'm going to keep doing it the way I can, Eddie. But th that's not working, man. So, so we can think of ways to change. You know, Eddie, I've done a lot of changing. I've gone through a lot of me's. And I think I finally settled on one I like. Who's that man, Clementine? Clementine. Is it? Clement my ass. <laughs> Tell you what, man, you walk off. I kill her. Feel free. She talks a lot about you, man. Does she? What does she say about me? Same old, same old. Wants to get you out. You know. Talks bad on me. You know how I am able to twist you and convince you of things. Just like Wildby does to me, does to us, does to everybody. Same old, same old. She is real sweet. Made me get to think, like, how could she get these ideas in her heads if they weren't being reciprocated, you know? Normally, conversations like that come from conversations with those people. What are you saying, Eddie? Well, maybe she's the answer. What are you saying, Eddie? But is it true? You like her? Eddie, she like you? you or is more poison important in my head? Are you accusing me of something? Yeah, man. You are? I think I've been accusing you ever since we hit those horses. What exactly Your interests, are you accusing me? They don't match. What exactly are you accusing me of, Eddie? I'd like to hear you say it. I'm questioning your loyalty. There. I don't know where it is. I saw it, or maybe you let me see it, because you wanted me to, and then you hit it again. You follow the orders, but you don't follow the rules. You come in and out whenever you want. You never support any of the agendas. You question most of them with no solutions. Where is your loyalty? Is it with her? Forget hey, Clementine, enough, Eddie. Maybe I haven't done enough investigation, but the little I have done, why why is she even in the picture? You know, you're these putting questions, her there. I'm putting her there, yeah. With the small information I gather, I put her there. Hey, man. I wouldn't be caught dead with anything like that. 
You know, if Pete felt the way I felt about you, Pete would have had me do something. I would have had to do something. I probably would have killed any of them. Pick one out of a hat and I'll do it. But I couldn't even ask that of you, man. Because I don't know. Tell me, Eddie. If Pete asked you to come down here to this lake and talk to me, and then he asked you to put a bullet in me, bust a charge in my heart? No. Nope. Would you do it, Eddie? Would I do it? Would you do it? You just, you did the same thing, you know that? Same thing as what? You said the exact same thing. And that's why you're here. You asked Harry a horrible question. Made her think about everything. Now you ask the same of me. That's fucked up, man. You know what you were doing when you asked those questions? Why did you ask them? I suppose it's in my nature. No, I need an answer, man. Because every time I do something, I get questioned and I got answers. I tell them how it is. If I go off the reservation, that's exactly what I do. I go off. Do something, start a fire. Then I come back and I explain myself. But every time you do that, you go off. Nothing. So let me ask you, man. Would you put a bullet in me? Only if you forced me, Eddie. If I force you. That's what it is, ain't it? I think that's what Wallaby's always lying to himself, ain't it? I mean, and that's why we have problems with it, with him. Cause we, we can't forget the fact that we're all willing to walk out in each other as soon as we feel the heat. Who's forcing who? Are you forcing me or am I forcing you here? I don't think anyone's forcing anyone, Eddie. You're forcing everybody in there. Everybody in Van Horn, you're forcing me, you're forcing Wallaby to put up with this. A week, fine. A month, maybe. But this has gone on long enough. Sooner or later, you gotta know that you just gotta come home. And we've made our bed.
Where's your loyalty, man? Is it with me? Is it with us? Or is it with you? I got to know because when he gets out, he's not going to ask them the same questions. No one is. And why does the answer matter right now? It matters. If no one's going to ask it. Are they planning on killing me when they get out? Is that what's going on? Anyone who's not loyal. Who's not in. We got to be in. Pete didn't ask me to come down here and know nothing. I took this upon myself. Because I don't want it to get to that point where there is a conversation. You know he's not gonna like any of this, man. You know how it is. So then everything's already set then. You, you, but 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 change, change. Just I don't think it can change, Eddie. No, you can't. you're making it man. sound, it doesn't seem no, like no, it can. No, you change. No, you I change. No, it's easy, man. I, I do change. It all the time. I'm you done just... changing, Eddie. Then no, come on, man. You gotta change with me. Change a little bit more. We can adapt. We can we can mold ourselves to it. Eddie, you've changed yourself so much. You've molded yourself so much. I barely even recognize you. No, 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 no. You say that. Look at you. You're barely even a man anymore. Hey, it, it, it's compromisation, man. We all gotta do. It's just compromise. You're more you mongrel could... than man, Eddie. If I can can compromise, if I can look at Dicenzo in the eye, do a deal after what they did to my mama, if I can look any of those Westerners in the eye after what they did, after what I did to them, and we can compromise and do work with them, you can compromise, man. I'm done compromising, Eddie. You're a bigger man than me, and you can make bigger compromises. So I'm asking you, let's just let's, let's strike a deal. So, so there doesn't have to be any conversations when he, when he gets out. When people start asking about agendas and, and, and the, the future of the business. When things are good now, make sure they're good. Walt's home back. We do our security. Van Horn, we show the people. Van Horn's stronger than ever. And I've been telling Pete, I've been telling Pete, we gotta do things different. And, and that's an opportunity right there. Sounds like Eddie.
Everything's already in place. No one knows about this meeting. Right now, people are just concerned, questioning. And I have to thank you for that, Eddie. And we really? don't even have to. We don't have to talk about it if this meeting even happened. All, all you need to do is just show that you got to change your mind. And people will start forgetting and questioning nothing. And let's say I leave. Let's say I don't change my mind. You're going to run? You're going to tell them? Say I get on my horse and I leave. Go where? Not Van Go where? But go where? Because you can't run. I wouldn't you know be running. That. You wouldn't run. So, so you post up somewhere else. Wait, wait for what? Licks? If you run, you run, okay? How much? How much is a boat? <laughs> you want to go? You want to go? Eddie, I Australia, don't want to go. I'm uh, not uh, going anywhere. England, Italy, wherever you want to go. I ain't running, Eddie. So, so, so you leave and, and you stay. What, for punishment? I'm tired of punishing myself, Eddie. Well, you, you, that's what you're doing. That's what you're going to do. You, you, you leave, you stay, you, you get punished. You leave, you get clear. That's it. New life. Or you stay. We can, we can see this thing out. Get you ready. You're you look awful. Spare me, spare me. I need an answer. An answer from my, from, my, from my brother here, okay? And, and, and he's, he's gonna stop all this goddamn foolishness. My, I told you from the start. You wanna stop all that? And you're gonna start seeing sense. Right? Eddie, what you're saying is true. I don't think there's any place for me there. I say Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Put him up. I'm not putting anything up, put Eddie. Him up. You put him up. Eddie, you're making a real stupid decision. Put up your hands. What are you doing this for, Eddie? I'm taking you. You're not taking me anywhere. I'm picking you up and I'm taking you back. You're not taking me anywhere, Eddie. That's exactly where I'm taking you. If you bring me, they're gonna kill me. And once they kill me, they're gonna kill you, Eddie. You know, that's not true. We got a system. We talk things through. We run things through. There's a way back, but you just gotta start seeing sense and stop this foolishness. Now put down the gun, man. 
Eddie, you put the gun down, we go our separate ways. I don't want to hurt you. And I hope and I pray to God that you don't want to hurt me. Down the gun, man. They're gonna kill me, Eddie. I ain't gonna let that happen. You have no say. You're nothing. Over there, you are the lowest of the low. That's not true. That's not true. It is true, and you know it to be true. Wallaby killed Moxie like she was nothing. We're not Forced same, Jasper we're, we're, we're to kill his whole gang. We're as thick as thieves. We're as tight as anybody else. There ain't nobody tighter than us. We're brothers. We can speak through things like this. You just gotta put down the gun, man. He killed Peaches without any hesitation, Eddie. She was sick. Nothing we could do for her. You believe that? Doesn't matter what I believe. If that's what they've been saying, Eddie? Have they been saying what, I'm what, sick? What, this is now. Have what they been saying now? I'm sick, in... Eddie? No, no, you, no, you ain't sick, man. You ain't sick. So, so let's tell him. Just tell him. Let's come to an arrangement. Who's to say we can't do uh, do like we did last time, right? Right? We came to an arrangement where, where you were you left appropriate with a with a severance, severance intact. I can promise that. Anybody goes against that, they're going against direct orders. I don't want any money, Eddie. I don't want any severance. There's no amount of money large enough to fill the gap in a man's soul, Eddie. So how you, how you gonna break it to the rest of them? Well, I assume I'm not gonna have the opportunity to go and collect my things, will I? She just gonna walk off? It looks like that has to be the way it is. Disappear. And then you'll pop up somewhere. Let me guess. You're going to Thebes. Is that why you were down there? You've already set up a spot where you're going to retreat to? No, I haven't, Eddie. So what then? You can't expect them to just... You can't expect me to string them along until they finally ride out and want to f look for themselves where the hell you went. Because they're going to want to know. And I'll tell him. He's left. What then? Okay. With the no power that I have to pull over there, 
maybe I'll be able to achieve that they wouldn't go looking for you. Fine. <laughs> How long is that going to last? That's not going to last. Because when he gets out, he's going to want to answer questions. He's going to want to pry. And then by that, I can't stop anybody. And what then when they come looking for you? You know what's going to happen, right? You can buy time. For like a month, maybe two. And then I'm going to be the one that has to come get you. Then tell me, Eddie. If they ask you to come get me. Are you going to bust the charge in my heart? I'm a vicious man, LJ. I've stabbed many people that are close. People that didn't deserve it, like Harry. Record shows I'm a violent man. hammered him, you know. Remember that? He wanted me to kill Peaches. I hammered him. Solely regretted. It. Because it was the situation that was fucked up. It wasn't the people. What's it now? The situation or the people? It's the people, ain't it? We just fucked up people destroying our lives. Is that it? All worth nothing. I realized, Daddy. Problem I had for so long is that I wanted too much. I wanted everything. It turns out, Eddie, you can't have everything. And sometimes you have to choose. I wish it wasn't this way, Eddie. Stop. 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 Oh, don't. Stop. Wait. Wait. 
sorry, Eddie. Right. I'm sorry. Don't leave me alone. Jess, Jess said I'm confused. Why are you confused? Shot down Eddie. Oh wait, is Eddie wanted? Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, he's wanted. I'm very highly wanted. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. No, I can't go back. Top one percentile, fuck me. Oh. <laughs> I feel really guilty. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, fuck, I don't know anybody else. I don't know anybody else here. Uh, Jojo. That was Matt. That was, that was Matt. I don't want to send one to the doctor, man, then he'll, <laughs> he'll get caught. I wasn't thinking, fuck. Caught and dead. Ay, ay, ay. I hope he doesn't die. Oh, I want the story to continue. Oh, who else? Who else do we have? We don't have anyone else, man. I don't have anybody from, uh, Ay, 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 I don't have anybody from, uh, the gang. Scout, but he's not released yet. 
Do I do it with Eli? They'll hurt Eli if I tell Eli to do it. I thought you were back with the kids until the end. Why would you think that? They are incredibly manipulative and, and oppressive and disgusting and gross. He gets out in a, he gets out in about 15 minutes, Scout. I, 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 I said daddy, man, I said daddy. Are you gonna bust a charge in my heart? Are you gonna bust a charge in my heart? If, if, if he asks you to? And he said, yes. He said, he said, yes, I will. I didn't do it when it was, when it was about peaches. But I, I will do it. Here it's different and I will do it. He left me with no option. He said he was gonna kill me. Eddie was forcing him to kill me. A lot of that conversation there was Eddie trying to convince himself that he was doing the right thing, by the way. That's why he was pushing so hard about compromise. And he was talking about all the stuff that I have that he doesn't get. Is that Matt? No, it's just some random woman. He seemed desperately trying to get me back. Get a disguise and go into hiding. I hate disguises. Eddie's saying, don't leave me alone. That's, that's more what he was upset about. That entire time, he, he, was, he was more, I didn't even think they were gonna kill me. I don't think anyone there was gonna kill me. He just wanted, he wanted me to feel the same way he felt, to reinforce how he feels. But they weren't gonna kill me until now. Like I would have, uh, if, if Eddie didn't find me and have that conversation with me, I would have head back to Van Horn and I would have like met up with everyone again. He said it about both, Ball. He said, he said, uh, he meant it. Don't leave me in Van Horn, like don't leave me physically right now because I'm dying. But don't, also don't, um, don't leave me in Van Horn as well. I am alone in Van Horn. And now he's fully alone, right? Now he's fully alone because I, I, I shot him. Oh, man. We crumbled Eddie. There's no way Eddie dies to that, man. There's no way Eddie dies to that. Please, please. I had the gun trained on him. We were gonna do, we were gonna do like a, like an executing shot. Put him out of his misery shot. Really make sure he never comes after me shot. But uh, we decided against it. The conceit. The conceit. At the end of that video, if you saw the cinematic, and if you didn't, go go to the beginning of the stream and watch the cinematic that Pumpkinberry made in the beginning of the stream.
Uh, but the conceit, like the the one of the big things, one of the big takeaways, is that LJ LJ wanted everything, man. LJ always wanted everything, right? LJ wanted LJ wanted the 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 new. He wanted the old, and he wants everything. And that's what stopped him from having anything. And there's an understanding of you can't have everything. That was the, uh... That last line was a callback to the- or was like a... Uh, a resolution to the- to the- the lesson learned. No, Dead End Gang, they're gonna try to kill me. They're gonna try to kill me without a, a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. LJ's- LJ's definition of love... Old, older, you know, Mask LJ's definition of love is, I want people who agree with me. Like, he couldn't fathom love in, in, a, in a way that wasn't every, you know, people, people have to agree with everything I say and think. And that was, uh, that was a mask LJ idea and belief. But a young LJ idea and belief was just wanting everything from the past. But that was also a, a mask LJ, I guess, too. But that was something rotten to his core. You know, you could have just said... You didn't want to do guard duty. I said that like 20 times. I said it like 20 times. I kept saying it. It wasn't enough. He literally said it left and was chased down. Imagine killing your brother to get out of guard duty. He killed his brother because his brother said, once I go back, they will send me back to kill you and I will do it. That's why he killed him, not to get out of guard duty. Name a time and a place. 848. Sender name. All right, now we now we actually need to talk to Clementine. Title. Right now. Hanging. Hanging tree near Armadillo. Right now, hanging tree near Armadillo. Each of the six uh, bullets fired into uh, Eddie's chest were carved the words, no guard duty for me, please. Brother was begging you to stay. He was, he was begging me to conform myself and to be a worm and to be oppressed under the structure that they have in Van Horn. He was begging me to trade my freedom to uh, appease everything at Van Horn. He was saying, we will have to kill you. Hi, if LJ. Hello. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, do I know you? It's Macy. Macy? Macy. Macy. Uh, have you been up in Van Horn? Not for a while. Not for a while. Are you friends with the people in Van Horn? I know them. You know, you're not really friends with them? Friends. Can't say so. Matt, yeah. Hmm. You know anyone that is Let's... friends? 
Do you have any other telegrams? No. Uh, just Matt. What's wrong, LJ? Matt, I have Matt's telegram. Well, I need someone to pick up Eddie. I can't do it, hmm. unfortunately. Eddie. Where is he? Braithwaite. I guess I'll pick him up. I guess we're family now. Uh, he, he's in Strawberry. Is that, a, strawberry. is that a uh, facetious we're family now? Or is that a genuine one? No, I, I'm, I'm married to his cousin. Oh, well, perfect. Uh, he's in Strawberry on the uh, the north east northwest entrance of town. Okay. He's laying there. He's in a pool of blood. He should be quick. Jeez, I'll come with you. All right. Oh, hold on, we got a telegram. Conscious cleared, baby. Unless they already picked him up. On my way. Oh, what's the question? What's the question? Let's uh, message Eli. LJ SI zero one one, title, killed, Eddie. No choice. Let's meet. Get Joe Joe House of Van. Kill Daddy, no choice. Get Jojo out of Van Horn. Let's meet. SI011. You might not want to go back. There's a gunsmith in, in town, right? Let's get bullets and shit. Uh, 29, that means I need 71 bullets. 71. Let's go with another 50. 50. All right, to get medical supplies. That's a barber. Medical, is this it? New objective, survive, 13. You have gun oil? Gun oil's overrated. Here we go. Let's grab stews. Oh, man. I did not expect to do that, man. I did not expect that's how... I did not expect that's how uh, today would go. I did not expect that's how today would go. Ay, ay, ay.
How is Matt gonna react? I have no idea. For his own sake, I hope he I hope he leaves me to the wolves. I hope he doesn't do anything. Ah, uh, man, I, I, I would be devastated if I had to shoot Matt. I don't think I would be able to. I think he'd, he'd pog out, he'd kill me. I would trust Matt. I, I would trust Matt's the only guy who I would trust uh, to meet with from the from the uh, dead end gang. Dead Eye Matt, Dead Eye Dursk. I hope she doesn't fuck me over, man. I hope she doesn't fuck me over really hard here. If she does, at least you're safe for like a million years. I'm not safe. Wallaby's literally in prison right now. They will, they, I, I will, I'm less safe. I don't think we'll be seeing Matt and Van Horn after today. Has, has Matt built up enough rapport? Here's the question. Has Matt built up enough rapport that he is no longer associated with me. Is Matt reputation worth more than their paranoia? Hmm. Matt's gonna be in a tough spot. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to side with me, man. I hope he. I hope he doesn't side with me, for his sake. But how legendary would it be if if he did, man? If it worked for Peaches, why not for Eddie? Setting everyone free. Ay ay ay. Man, oh, it's haunting me. His, his him gasping on the ground. Don't leave me alone. Is haunting me. You could have ran off with him. No, there's no way he would have ran off. You, you gotta think, you gotta understand with Eddie, is once he has his mind set on something, the way something is, there is no changing his mind. There was no changing his mind. Eddie, Eddie would have went, and he would have said, 
LJ is leaving the gang. And I think I would have been safe until Wallaby got out. Maybe even until Scout got out. And then they would have uh, came after me. Eddie said he would kill LJ if he asked. LJ is sure they are going to kill them. Therefore, Eddie was going to kill him. Eddie kept saying they're going to kill him. Eddie kept saying they're going to kill you. I am going to leave. I am going to tell them that you are leaving. And then they are going to kill you. And then I am going to kill you. I had no choice. I literally had no choice. The choice was to live as a simpering worm. Or not. He has, he, he has big sunken cost mentality. Because he kept saying that. He kept saying that throughout the, uh, throughout the conversation. We have to see it through. We've put so much time. We have to see it through. We have to see it through. Ay, 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 man. Ay, ay, ay. That was messed up, though, because how many times has he been in, then out, then in again? A lot of the conversation he was having was, was him working through his own problem. Did I say hanging tree or did I say hanging rock in the telegram? I think there she is. No. Nope. I said tree? Fuck. This is a hanging tree. But I meant hanging rock. Fuck, I hope, I hope uh, she goes to the right spot. Graham, that was an amazing scene you and Smokey did, man. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 man. He's the physical manifestation of sunken cost. Eddie's, Eddie, Eddie always projects. Eddie was projecting during that conversation. It, it is messed up that he leaves all the time and comes back. And that's why he was trying to convince me to like not do that because he was, he was convincing himself. And, and he also seemed a little perturbed that uh, nobody has like spoken to me about leaving and like coming back, but they, they kept speaking to him about it. But he was trying, during that conversation, he was, he was speaking to himself, which is something that you'll, you'll notice Edwin does a lot. He'll have a conversation with you, but he's really putting, he's really having a conversation with himself where you are him. They have already talked to me about it, yeah. Arctic Alpine, there was, there was something that you said earlier that I wanted to respond to, but I can't remember what it was. It was, it was much further back. It was much further back. Oh, man, Eddie's gonna come after me, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna unleash him on me like a fucking rabid dog. Do I have any gospel that would fit this right now? No. If Eddie dies, I'll, no, Eddie's not dying. There's no way. There's no way. I don't think I have anything. 
That would fit this. No, maybe, hold on. My reward is in heaven. If Eddie does, LJ can walk back in a van horn like nothing happened. No, I can't. I can't because uh, I told people. So the news will get back to him. Delgado died in no pixel! No way! There's Clementine. Hello. You are uh, you alone out here? That's right. I'm alone in life right now. You mind if I come sit with you? Please. Let me uh, hitch my horse around the corner. Sunset's beautiful. You don't want to miss it. How do things get this way? You have to wonder. Things are crazy, but the sun still sets the same, you know? She just carries on as normal. That's true. That's the truth. With Eddie? I haven't seen Edwin for a long time. Every time I see him, he drags you away from me. He whispers in your ear like he's the goddamn devil. I've seen many demons in my life. Edwin was... I think he, he fought demons of his own. I wish I could have got him help. souls I want to but I'm scared too I'm scared of what I'll face when I meet our maker if there is one that I've done I'm not proud of. 
scared of how I'll be judged. But that's why I picked up the badge, right? To, uh... Atone. Atone is one word, penance is another. It's not to say I think of this as a punishment. I'm proud of what I do with the deputies, I think. You know, I never wanted to hurt you, right? I don't believe that. I don't think you quite mean that either. Don't get me wrong. I will if I have to. But it doesn't mean that I want to. It doesn't mean that I enjoy it. It doesn't mean that it doesn't break my heart. I can understand that sentiment entirely and completely. What's going on, Timothy? You could tell something was wrong? <laughs> I've done a lot of hiding in my life. I figure, uh, I figure it's time to Damn give that up. Won't leave me the hell alone. Maybe a little bit of honesty would go a long way. Just a little bit. All right. I took my gun and I bust a charge in Edwin's heart. What? I didn't intend on it. Well, at least not when I woke up this morning. But <laughs> he gave me no alternatives. When did it happen? Eli, thank you for the gift subs and thank you for the follow. Before the sunset. Up in Strawberry, his body's laid out in the mud there. As he was laying there, he looked up at me and he, he whispered. Not a whisper. There's no word for this the last bit of air that leaves your lungs a rasp maybe He told me, don't leave me alone. Please, LJ, don't leave me alone. I looked inwardly recently and I hated what I saw inside. And I realized that part of why I suffer so much and why I inflict suffering on others is I want too much. And I amass and I amass until things get out of hand and then um, 
He could still be alive. He could still be out there. We, we gotta find him, Timothy. We gotta put this right. I, I, I sent telegrams to some folk. Maybe they found him. Maybe they haven't. Either way, uh, this, this is, uh, it's over. Everything with Van Horn, at least. I wanted too much with Van Horn. Because I wanted to be a part of it, but I also wanted my freedom, and I realized that I can't have both of those things. They saw me speaking to you, I guess more than just that one time in Armadillo. They must have got it in their head that you and me were something. Either I was an informant or something more. I think they might come after you to hurt me, Clementine. And I'm sorry for putting that burden on you. I tried to tell him it wouldn't really be hurting me, he'd just be hurting someone. You know how these people are though, when they get thought in their head, they can't let go of it. Edwin especially, he gets a thought in his head. He, he takes that to the uh, sun and back. Just when I thought my life was turning around, <laughs> you know? For the first time. I looked inwardly and I thought I settled things. But the damage is done. Uh, Everything's already been corrupted. It's a shame. Why would you? I don't understand. I don't understand why you would hurt him. I, it, I, I thought you were friends. I thought. I thought we were friends too. Was, was he defense? trying to hurt you? Is that what it was? Was it self-defense? Tell me it was self-defense. Edwin had pleaded with me. He said, LJ, you can't just keep wandering off. We have rules. We have codes we have to stand by. You can't keep wandering off. He was talking to me, but really, I think he was talking to himself. He does that sort of thing. He, he talks to you, but he, he's really talking to himself. And I said, I said, I can't. I said, I can't. I said, I can't. I wanted too much. You know, I wanted too much. I wanted to be a part of all this with my, my old friends. And I, I also wanted my my freedom to, to roam and explore the world. And he said, well, if you can't make up your mind, if you don't come back with me to Van Horn right now, I'll tell everyone what you said. I'll tell everyone that, that you said you're out. And they're not gonna like it. And then they'll send me back here to find you. And I asked him, I said, Edwin, they sent you to find me. Would you bust a charge in my heart?
he talked about peaches. He said, peaches, Wallaby told him to hurt peaches. Why, I do not know. I was, uh, I believe, absent during that period of time. But instead, Edwin took a hammer to Wallaby's face. Have you heard that story before? I was there for that. I didn't see that? it, but I was around. Uh, remember when we went to the Braithwaite Manor to see Edwin before Wallaby's quote-unquote funeral? I don't. I'm sorry. You left me behind, and then I got kidnapped by Wallaby and everyone. That wasn't planned, by the way. Didn't plan. For that me. felt very planned. It felt very planned. No, I, I, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking truthfully now for the first time in a very long time. Well, he said that that situation, the problem was the circumstance, not the persons. In this instance, there's not a problem with the circumstance, there's a problem with the persons. I took that to be a yes. And I had to decide in that moment, um, I have, I have so much, I can't have it all. Sounds like they were gonna do that eventually. They already had their mindset from the way Eddie spoke. Turns out you can't really get forgiveness. At least not here on Earth. Maybe somewhere in heaven. Timothy. Why didn't you come to me first? Well, you found me. I could have helped you get <laughs> out. There was no way of getting out of there. No way. He found me and he wouldn't let me leave. He told me over and over again, he said, LJ, I'm not letting you walk away. LJ, I'm not letting you walk away because if you walk away, They're not going to be happy about it. He begged me to stay in Van Horn with him. He begged me not to leave his side. It's an awful place, Van Horn. Why now? Why are you leaving now? I know oddly, this might sound strange. It's the first time in a very, very long time that I've had any mental clarity. What do you plan on doing now? Well, I, I figure uh, I have somewhere between, uh, an hour ago or a month from now before they start hunting me. Wish whiskey grew on trees. I would like to...
Hmm. What would I like to do? There's uh hmm. There's the matter of my soul, however shrinkled and blackened that might be. I suppose I should sort that out. Eternity's a long time. I have to stand my trial and judgment, of course. No one else that can stand there for me. Why did you want to speak with me, Clementine? What was it that you wanted? Since we're spitting truths, there's a couple of reasons. Number one was I wanted to see if Jimothy was still in there, and I don't mean this cocky version of you that you showed in Van Horn or anything like that. I mean Jimothy. I mean the boy that was there in Armadillo when Edwin dragged him away. I should have fought harder for you that day, and I'm sorry that I didn't. He was there. Scared little boy. I saw him. He had a little train hat on. And that time I saw you a couple weeks ago. Were you wearing a hat then? It's hard to say. What I know now is I've found peace inside of myself. It's so ironic that that coincides with chaos everywhere else. I wanted to talk to you about peaches. And honestly, a sheriff and an undersheriff I have written here a very good deal for you, but I guess uh, you've changed the bets now. Cards are being dealt differently. So I don't know if it'll still stand, but it was a very generous deal. <laughs> I appreciate your deal. But uh, if I go to prison at all, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. And there's some things I'd like to do before that happens. You see. Like what? There's many people that I hurt. Many, many, many people that I hurt. And there's people that I, I'm responsible for in some way. And I'd like to make sure that those people are safe before I leave them again. Hard thing to do. 
but I'd like to, I'd like to say goodbye before I leave this time. I've been avoiding saying that for a long time. What makes you think I would let you walk away today, Timothy? After you sat here and just confessed to me that you murdered someone, or that you tried to. Clementine, I've already hurt enough people today. How about I tell you about Peaches? What would you like to know about her? What happened to her? Her well, body? She, she was taken. Very brutally, I might add. Ripped. Uh, from her coffin in, in the... Uh, what's that place called? Undertaker's office. Blackwater. And she was dragged most of the way to Van Horn. Until, uh, I forgot who spoke up about the treatment. Someone did, and I threw her on the back of the horse. And then she was taken and stuffed underneath the floorboards. And that, uh, infernal fighting ring they have there. I have a fight night tonight, by the way. But she's not there anymore. In fact, I don't think she's really anywhere anymore. They took her body because they wanted to make her into a symbol. A symbol I'm sure Wallaby intended to be we will remain by your side forever even in death. However, I, I believe now that instead the symbol was you're never allowed to leave. I've never been a, a keen on people becoming symbols. They did that to Mrs. Braithwaite. Very despicable thing they did. So now, um, as far as I'm aware, she exists in a small jar somewhere in the crossing. It's odd. It's odd. How a human who's so large can be 
placed into something so small. I, I don't know where the jar is. Wallaby must have put it somewhere before he went to prison. Would that have been enough to get that deal? I'm assuming not. I would have argued for it. No, you don't, you don't have to argue then. Not anymore. I will still argue for it if you come in with me today. Clementine, I can't come in. I have very, very few moments. And I need to make sure. That everything. Has concluded. has been resolved. Is there anything else you'd like to know? I know many, many things. What else do you want to tell me? many things that I've done that have been terrible, that have been wrong. What happened to you in the army, Timothy? Before we went in, you were just some... You were somebody that didn't like putting bullets in their guns when we robbed people. You didn't like hurting people. You hated it. And then we went in, and, and I couldn't stay because of the whole fire thing. So I had to come back alone. And then when I when I saw you again, you were... I think you found a lot of pain, huh? I had to do things to survive. And, uh, after everything was, was over, it was hard to readjust. While I was over there, I, I took, uh, everything from the past, and I buried it deep down inside of myself, very deep. And in its place, something flourished. Something, uh, something vicious. Something evil. I convinced myself that 
that there's always something to fight. Because if I, if I didn't have something to fight, there would be no need for this new part of me. And I realize now how unreal all of it was. Were you scared? Part of me was, a part of me was always uh, afraid. I think it's hard for people to let go of the fear and hatred inside them. It's hard to put it behind them, you know? I struggle to understand how a lot of people feel, but that I know too well. When I first came to the crossing, I was terrified. And then I made friends in Armadillo and suddenly they were all gone. But I had one friend out east. One. I was terrified of going. Every time I'd gone out east, I'd been robbed. <laughs> I hated it. I was never robbed out west. You were the one, you were the one part that made it seem a little less scary. You know that? Now we're sitting here and you're telling me that you want to leave this life behind, but to do so, you m murdered someone. Or you tried to. And if I'm honest, now I'm scared. I was worried before. What if I tell you I'm still not going to let you leave here today? What would you do to me? Valentine. I'm telling you from the deepest parts inside of me, I have to leave. There are things that need to be done. And I'll try to hurt no one else. But I have to leave. Sorry, I'm whispering, sort of. I'll lean to the mic. There are a few people I think they're going to hurt in order to get to me. I'd like to make sure those people are safe. Jojo, probably the first. Now I'm sure when they see you, they'll come after you. I won't get that chance if you take me in. The moment I get to Sisica, they're going to kill me. Wallaby's in there, Scout's in there, Dakota. Careful.
Why, you think I'm just gonna pull my gun on you and shoot you? Here in the chair? Edwin did. Tried. I tried to throw this away so many times. What is that? Why don't you take a look? Now, if this says, put your hands up, that'd be a really mean trick. And he promised that'd be no tricks. That'd be downright dastardly, wouldn't it? It really would be. I would have learned from the best. I'm gonna eat your corned beef unapologetically. Aye! It's a telegram I sent. Like I said, I tried to throw it away a lot. I got close to, made it in the bin a couple of times. Always took it out. This is year and a half old, isn't it? <laughs> wow. I know you're telling the truth because you are terrible at goodbyes, you know that? I am, I know I am. I always have been. I made a promise to myself that I would never say goodbye again. You know why? Why? Because the last time I said goodbye... Rennie was tied up and I was gunned down and shipped to the army. I suppose I, I had an aversion to it after that. Maybe you should just keep a hold of it for now. There's a woman by the name of Dahlia. Did you ever meet her? I've met a lot of different Dahlias. Oh, you'll remember this one. She was very prickly. Uh, had a uh, very strong disposition. Beautiful dark hair. Perhaps. She is currently in a coma somewhere. I don't believe that's on your records. Uh, I think they made a point of it to stay off. They didn't want to tell anybody. And she She uh, shared her heart with me. Probably one of the only people she'd ever done that with. She's, I think, naturally um, reserved. And one day I, I stood up and I wandered off. And I didn't say goodbye to her. And I realize now
friendship and love. My view was awful. It was tainted. I believed that love was agreeing with me unconditionally. And I, I really hated it when, when people disagreed with me. How could they love me if they disagree with me? So after plucking these people out of the lives that they had made for themselves, and forcing them to be with me. Miles and miles and miles away from any family or place that they knew. Very selfishly, I decided to wander off into the jungle. I decided that because they had begun to disagree with the things I wanted. And I couldn't have that, I couldn't handle that, so I left. And I didn't say goodbye, because I'm averse to it. So I left them stranded on an island, many, many miles away from their homes, and after forcing them, whatever lives they previously had, and then I abandoned them. I would like be able to apologize for that sincerely before I face my trial and judgment. Worst part, I've done so much evil, I don't think I can atone for all of it. How could I even begin? In time. I don't know. You start by doing the right thing. I guess. Whatever that is. I wish you Reaching would know. Up. I wish you knew. Turning yourself in would be one step. I can't. Not yet. Apologizing to those is another. Making it up to them. I've wronged too many people to apologize to all of them. Many of which um, are no longer with us. Through many, many evil actions. Many, many innocent souls. Oh, there's, there's no apologizing to them. I suppose, um, eventually, however, I will have to look at each of their faces.
and confront what I've done, the terrible, terrible things that I've done. I didn't think there was ever a way I could make up for the stuff that I've done. And I've still done it. It just takes time and patience and you've got to, you've got to want it, Timothy. You've got to put all that shit behind you. I mean it. Clementine. And you've got, you've got to atone for it. If you really want true forgiveness. Clementine, there are things that I've done that if I had a thousand years, if I had a million years, I wouldn't be able to forgive. I wouldn't be able to atone for. Very awful things. And I hope that at the very least I can provide some small comfort to those who I hurt in less severe ways. Where are you going? I don't think that's decided yet. Until after I face my trial. Maybe I'll see you there, Clementine. Jimothy, I promised you no tricks for this meeting, and I, I intend to honor that. Because I don't know if what you're saying is true yet. But if what you're saying is true, and I find out that you murdered Edwin or that you tried to, I don't care who Edwin was as a person. I want to promise you that I will bring you in myself. Do you understand what that means? I understand, Clementine. But know this as well. I intend on settling any business I have and I will not allow you to get in between me and them. I have an oath to honor and to uphold and if you took a life in this crossing in this state, no matter who that life belongs to, that is something sacred, something from God that you took away. And I intend on bringing anyone who decides to take life or death into their own hands up to justice. We are not God. We don't get to decide who lives or dies. It's not right. You're right. You were right about that. We're just men. We're just people. And if we don't hold ourselves accountable, what becomes of us? Do you ever speak to Harry?
Not often. Well, they might kill her if you do. But if you ever get the chance, can you ask her about the red-haired man from Guarma? What about him? Clementine, there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to be sought and very, very little time. Thank you for speaking with me, but I have to begin. What do you have to do? What are you planning? I'm planning on seeking redemption for my eternal soul, Clementine. I don't mean that in a crazy way for once. Ah, you, you motherfuckers got me. You guys got me talking about religion earlier, and now LJ's a little religion guy. You guys are bastards. That's your fault. Ah, you guys got, you guys put that in my head, and now LJ's a little religious guy. But he's on the good side now. He's like, he's like not the Antichrist anymore. Man, if she knows all the people that died in Guarma, she would have she would have shot him right there. I could not I could not uh, share that with her. I could not share that with her. I wanted I wanted so badly to just outright say it for the first time, but she would have drawn on me and I would have had to shoot her. Ay, 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 man. I have to talk to Preacher, man. He's the only guy that can really save me. man because we've been playing the gospel music for a while we haven't really been touching on the religious aspect of it man it's funny how he pretends his finger wasn't coiled like a snake waiting at the left mouse button to fan 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 her down if she drew that gun i would have pulled it out the same way with eddie and i would have gunned her down in a heartbeat i'm so happy she didn't pull that gun down Alde's trying to make peace with those he wronged and with God. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly that.
Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I gotta get off these roads. It's so sad when stepfather shoots stepson. We had to shoot our stepson, man, our potential stepson. I don't think there's a lot more for LJ's story, man. I think we're rushing rapidly to the end. I know we said that before, but especially now. It's even closer than before, man. Where's a good place to hide up for now? I need, I need to check my telegrams one last time. She said she's gonna bring you in, effectively kill you if you shot Eddie, which you definitely did for indirectly saying he would kill you like she just did. I could have I could have shot her, man. I could have shot her, but I already I already shot down Edwin today, man. I can't just keep killing dudes all day. I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta do it. Yeah, I gotta I gotta stop myself from killing everybody. Not shooting her is better for the redemption. <laughs> Killing BFFs tip down the list. She didn't pull her gun out. Eddie did pull his gun out. I already had the gun out for, for Eddie. An interesting take, not too many do. We were just talking earlier today, man how nobody, nobody really does anything religious, right? People tend to avoid that, man. But I, I think, I think having an internal religious conflict, man, right? Not, not an external one where I'm like proselytizing or like preaching. But one, one explicitly where I'm trying to settle the matters of my soul before I die. LJZ shoots his seventh victim of the day. Can't you see him trying to make amends? Ay, ay, ay. Guys, you have to remember the shit that LJ did the shit that LJ did is so heinous. Is so heinous. That, that... There, there really is truly no way of forgiving the evil actions that he did. Anything, anything that he can do is a pittance compared to the evil that he has inflicted onto the world. The only... The only... The only, I, I can't even think of the word, man. The only uh, redemption or goodness that can be had in this ending is an acceptance, is an acceptance of the self. Right? Because before, before when he was expecting to die with all of his friends, it was, it was... At first, when it was, when it was fearful LJ, it was, it was, a, it was, it was out of fear, right? It was out of fear. He was afraid to be to be alone when he died, just like he did with Eddie. I guess he he fucking shot Eddie and then rode away. But LJ was afraid to be alone when he died.
right? And then, and then, Rennie had the conversation, and it he hardened himself, right? He hardened his soul. He hardened his heart. So then, then, expecting death was was almost malicious. It was almost malicious because it was. It was yes. I I hate who this person is so much. I wish they I wish they died. S I zero one one. LJ SI011. I, let me, let me fucking look at my map. I... Three sisters. Three sisters. Southwest of O'Kraze, southeast of O'Kraze Run. Sender, LJSI011. Meet me at... The cabin south east of O Phrase Run. Not at it, but south of it. At three sisters. I could have phrased that better, but whatever. We're in a rush. LJ has been through a lot, and I've missed most of his story, but what I've seen has been really cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. What, would I, what was I saying? So, so then it, it went from being fearful and not wanting to die alone to, be, to being almost malicious. To being almost malicious in, in oh, I want, I want this, I want this aspect to die. Without a full, without a full realization, right, that if this aspect dies, I will die too. So once that realization was made, right, once that realization was made of if this aspect of me um, dies, I will die too. If I die, I die too, right? Then, then the fear was in his heart of, of I can't die, I don't want to die. Right? But I think now it's, it, it, we finally achieved a peaceful and internal serenity. The storm inside, which is plagued LJ. For all the time that, that, that he's been back since the Philippines, his has finally been quelled. But the worst part is, it's been quelled, but the storm outside has raged, has begun to rage, has begun to assault him so the in the internal the internal struggle has ceased but not before tainting everything outside Clem holding on to that telegram for so long is really meaningful man she gave it to me too it's brutal it's brutal I don't know if I read it out loud, but I'll read it out loud when we get to Three Sisters.
I'm I'm heartbroken, man. I'm heartbroken. I hope she's the one that that takes me. I hope it's not just some random guy. Too often it's just some random guy, which is realistic, but you want to have those big moments with you know with with the people that are part of your storyline. Finally starting to heal just in time for the world to come crashing down. If Aldre can make all of his amends, maybe he'll turn himself in as an amends. We have to fight to the end, man. We have to fight to the end. I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, like, like LJ said, man, if I had a thousand years, I could not make amends for all the evil that I've done. If I had a thousand years, I could not make amends. But at the very least, in the limited time that I have, there's a few people that I just want to make sure are okay and that I can say goodbye to them. If he could, he would. Maybe. Maybe. I... Uh, but for the first time in... in a very, very, very long time. The internal storm has been quelled. The storm inside of him has been quelled. And, and, uh... He has to, he has, he's, he has to... Acknowledge... And come to terms. Not not even come to terms. How do you come to terms with something like that? Mind calm for the first time. Probably from the probably since he was ripped away from Rennie and sent to war. We need to talk to Rennie before we before we get caught. Cause. I mean, depending on the scene, we're going to either die or be in jail forever. LJ has done too much heinous shit to be allowed to continue. You gotta stand. Judgment. Not the song I thought. Man, I hope Edwin didn't get fucking put away for a hundred years, man. Fuck. Because then, then I have to not get caught for a very long time to be able to, like, face him. When is, uh, Wallaby get out? The end of December? I'm lost. You said I want you to do me a favor. You said I want you to keep your hand in That's how Arthur's story was. He didn't think he deserved that. But his love for his friends, family, others took over. That was his true redemption. Because it was in his heart that he is truly mattered. Maybe, man. Maybe. 
Bird said he'd keep him longer. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to see Wallaby before I get out. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see him. Not till January, fuck. I would have loved to, I would have loved to confront Wallaby before I died. In fact, I would have loved if he, if he was one of the people that did it. He was one of the reasons at least. I'll tell you what, man, I, I could probably walk in a van horn right now and nobody will give me any shit unless Wallaby gives the say so. And since he's not coming out, I'm just, I got free reign until fucking January. <laughs> so this is the end of LJ. This whole, yeah, this whole, this whole thing was to wrap up LJ, man. And I did not see it coming this way. I thought, I thought, I thought LJ would wrap up genuinely either dying with all his friends like he wanted. And if, if Wallaby lost that duel and died, I, uh, LJ would have also died there. Right? But... Now it's different, man. I didn't see the story going in this direction. This way. Wait. I gotta go south and then left. Man, I really, if, uh, I gotta give, give it up to Pumpkinberry and Meyer, man. If it wasn't for Pumpkinberry, please follow Pumpkinberry and Meyer on Twitch and on, on, on YouTube. Pumpkinberry on YouTube. Because if it wasn't for them, man, the story would not have gone in this direction. I, I, I truly didn't see LJ's redemption being at all possible before that. It, it was, it was, it was not even close. The closest that, that he would, uh, he would have come would have been would have been uh what's the word man the closest he would have come would have been uh like dying with his friends and just being there with his friends which i assume if you're like uh, uh only wallaby viewer you would have saw his redemption uh, but if you if you if you watch, you know this stream, you would know that towards the end there, that was a punishment. That was his punishment, was dying with his friends. Unless LJ, I'm not gonna dye my hair. I'm not gonna get changed. I'm not gonna put a disguise on. I think that's really whack, man. I think I think like getting the disguises is really whack. It's like, it's like really goofy. Ho! Your horse isn't outside. Hey, it's behind the house. Look, he's here. I see. Is Dahlia in here? Uh, I don't know, I can't tell. Let's go back over in this room. Oh. Yeah, let's go in here for some reason. Last time I checked, Dahlia was in that other room. She was in a coma. Yeah. What's going on? I have to apologize, Jojo. I feel like, um, I feel like my actions will affect you. I feel like they have for a very long time. Things I've done have always seem to affect you in some way. You ain't got to apologize for anything. I do. I have many things to apologize for, Jojo. There are many things I've done wrong, many evils that I've committed onto this world. And 
and I intend on uh, apologizing for them in, in whatever pitiful way that I can. However, uh, seems once again, my actions may put you in harm. actions. You ain't got to apologize for anything, Lee. Not to me. I busted a charge inside of Edwin's chest. I left him laying on the ground, bleeding, and strawberry. And as I is that why off, you sent me a telegram saying you scraped along the floor? That is. Did you check? Did you go? I only just got out of Sisica. I see. Well, maybe someone got him. Jesus Christ. Why? Did he threaten to... maim, kill, all that shit again? I wouldn't be surprised. Edwin, Edwin, uh, he actually did me a kindness. He actually did me a kindness just before I shot him. What did he do? He had taken me to the side and he told me and he said, well, LJ, everyone in Van Horn was very upset at you. They're upset at the way you act, things you do. And very soon, they're going to act against you. And I asked him, are you gonna act against me, Eddie? He told me that if he was told to act against me, he would. Of course he would. I asked him, Eddie, are you going to go and tell them now? And he said, yes, or if you don't come back with me to Van Horn, yes, I will have to. I asked him, Eddie, if uh, when you get to Van Horn, they tell you to come find me and kill me, would you? Yes, he would. You defended yourself just a little bit in advance. But who am I to take Edwin's life, my brother. You would have taken yours. Not then and there. Maybe I could have talked to him later. Maybe he cleared his mind and maybe he would have changed his mind. But I shot him. And I don't know if he's alive. I don't know if he's dead. He rasped. He rasped. Don't leave me alone, LJ. And I left him there in Strawberry by himself. What are you doing now? I just spoke What's... with Clementine. Ow. Sorry, immediate reaction. Continue. No, I understand that reaction. I don't blame it. Yeah. Uh, she sought me out. And I informed her that... Uh, they're probably going to try and kill her as well. Edwin, I believe, thought that I was informing the law, specifically Clementine. And he thought for some reason that hurting her would hurt me. Mm -hmm. uh, sentiment that, that at the, in the moment, I laughed at, but 
But now, after dwelling and after speaking with her, maybe he was correct. Maybe it would have hurt me. And I feel that they're going to try the same against you. I feel as if there are some people there that already dislike you. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't wish for anything to happen to you on my behalf. Matt. Matt, I believe, has, has developed enough rapport and... enough credibility that, that they won't target him in order to get to me. And even if they tried, I don't think they'd get very far before they gunslinger shoots him down. But I wanted to inform you, I wanted to let you know. I told Eli, I told Eli to tell you. He's been preoccupied with some stuff. I haven't got telegrams from him. Neither has uh, Matt. Neither has Matt, but... Hopefully he's all right. Hopefully they don't target him. And Dahlia, she's in that other room, which door is locked. Hopefully... She... It's not harm because of the things I've done. I feel as if I've already caused enough harm. I intend on speaking with someone, a man or woman of God, if you know any. I think that's really my strong seat, if I'm honest. If you can find any, and you can point me towards them. I would appreciate that. I can there, there are affairs that I have to settle. Uh, eternal matters of the soul that will... Uh, that need to be handled. Clementine has informed me that she will bring the full force of the law down upon me with all the murders that I've been present for in Van Horn alone. I have no doubt that I'm either s seeing life imprisonment or possibly death either by fire and squad or chair. Mm. And that's not counting the many terrible things that I did in Guarma. If, if Clementine it's coming after you. It feels like a really fucking weird thing to say first off, but if Clementine's after you, then she's got to fucking do with me as well. Jojo, I don't want you doing that. Why not? Because I've caused you enough harm. How do you think you've caused me harm? Because I've plucked you 
from any happiness, any sense of normality you might have had. And I've strung you along. And many times I've abandoned you. I've done things, claim to be on your behalf. But now I know that all those things, they were for me. But you always came back. Came back just to string you along again. Oh, no, no, no. That might be what you're telling yourself. You came back because you cared. Doesn't matter how much it was covered up by the other stuff and whatever thoughts you were having. You came back because you cared. You haven't plucked me away from any happiness. I'm happy. I don't need to be friends with everyone fucking world i just need you and eli and dahlia and matt if he's not doing something fucking stupid so i need I'm not sure of the next step to take. I'll be quite honest with you. I know a man by the name of Preacher. I'm, I'm hoping his name is not ironic. It's really hard to tell with some people. It is. But if it is, you can do me a kindness and try to find someone. I can try. I can try. <laughs> Might be a little hard. Um, I probably wasn't everyone's favorite anyway, with the whole reason I've got in Cisco. But I'll figure something out. Wallaby well, shot Moxie time. in the back. So, what do you do now? Preacher. I would like to speak to Preacher. Do I you know like if he's to... around? I, I am not sure. I should send him a telegram of some sort. I fear if I make my way to the telegram office, uh, any salvation that I'm seeking may be cut short. But I will persist nonetheless. You ain't going alone. I don't know if she's alive. I, I assume she wouldn't perma from that. But uh, he did shoot her in the back. Yeah, it'd be meta. I'm not. I'm not really sure. I I I, I doubt she would have permed from that. It was like very fast. While I was inside, Sisiko, Wallaby. 
said he wanted to talk with me. Obviously that was before all this, so I don't know what that was about, but I'm sure that's not gonna... Probably best that doesn't happen anymore. What do you think it might have been about? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Jackass, man, you, you have missed a lot. There's been a lot happening all day. We are, we are in the end game. We're gonna get you a salvation. I've done many, many terrible things, Jojo. I've hurt many people. More than you could ever imagine. And if you knew the depths of the evils that had existed in my soul, I think you would speak to me in a much different way. I'd like to speak to Rennie. I don't know how to get in contact with her. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to contact her. I don't have a telegram, telegram the chance either. Of responding is... I need to, uh... I need, I'm towing a fine line right now. Cause I have to stay, I have to stay away from having a martyr complex. And, and be firmly on the path of, of earnestly and genuinely wanting forgiveness. IF340. Matt messaged me, said what happened. Yeah, when I was at Cisco, I telegram Matt being like, what's going on? And he said, LJ may have done something stupid. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Eddie was shot down and Law has him. Oh, the Law has him now! I messaged Matt. He's trying to find me. I should message Preacher as well.
Blood group, blood group. Oh, was that the law? If Matt doesn't come along, man, uh, alone, man, and they're gonna surround me, they're gonna shoot me down, they're gonna kill me. Oh, I hope it doesn't end in one day, man. I would love to speak to any religious character, man. I don't think there are any. I think Preacher might be the only one. Someone was saying I would had one. So maybe there, there's hope out there. LJ doing what Kissinger wishes he could. Kill his friends? Ay ay ay. If only Mother Goose was still alive. Ay ay ay, you're right. RP gods, please. There's a Valentine preacher? Alright, I don't know, don't tell me who they are, but that's good to know, man, that there's actual preacher characters around. Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Conducts the firing squad. Fuck. The chair sounds dope, man. I wish I could sit in here. All these chairs look so soft. All these soft good wooden way. chairs. They look too soft for me to sit on, is what I mean. Um. So I've telegrammed that. So now we sit here and we wait and we see if he comes alone or if he comes with everyone. What do you think he would do? I don't know. I don't know anymore. It would be smart if he told everybody he was going to meet me. Brought all of them and, and finished. Finished it off right now. You think you'll come alone? I it's a it's a real fifty fifty. I know people usually say that and it's not, but this time it is a true fifty fifty. Whose allegiance does he does he remain? What what allegiance does he remain to? I think there's a chance he comes alone, but I'd like to convince him to stay with the dead end gang, because I, I I'm not planning on being around for much longer, and he needs prospects. Dolly is in the other room. She was put into a coma by a vicious stabbing. I wish she was awake, 
I would have loved to have spoken to her. I'd like to speak to her too. I haven't had the chance to in a long time. The last time I spoke to her, I was, um, I was not myself. Or maybe I'm not myself now. But either way, the last time I spoke to her, I didn't like what I had said, and I didn't like the way it ended. mind feels clear Jojo for the first time in, in a very very long time and I mean that genuinely does it feel good have a clear head no it feels terrible because I'm forced to confront terrible things that I've done But this is the way things should be. And if I had felt this way all along, maybe I, uh, maybe things would be different. But I had allowed myself to believe falsehoods for a very, very long time. And I've allowed Good to myself. control how you feel. Nah, I think the harmonica is too funny. I, I don't have any any like beautiful like soft songs that I can play on the harmonica. Just that like I can play like three things. None of which are beautiful. Hopefully he shows up. Of course I'm out of town. Just drop in and say hi. And leave and avoid meta. Oh, Goosey, man. I wish you were here. Fuck. Goosey. Gushi, I wish you were here. No! If the story feels right, follow your heart. Follow your heart. <sighs> Man, there's so many people that I would have loved to have spoke to before things wrapped up. Oh, I'm nauseous right now, fuck. What's going through your head right now? thinking about I'm thinking about nothing he heads back Lee For the first time in a very long time, I don't have these disjointed thoughts running through my head.
I'm thinking about the words that Eddie said. As he was laying on the ground there, he managed to rasp out. Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. That was exactly what I thought many, many times as I was confronted with my mortality. In fact, the reason I came back to the crossing at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Sprite. Thank you, Sprite. The reason I came back to the crossing at all was because I was afraid to die. Because I was afraid of being alone. I had intended, Jojo, to die with all my friends. I I'd said that several times, but I don't think anyone truly understood the implication of that. I meant quite literally to die with all my friends. I had intended on coming back and dragging everyone down with me into the cold ground. First person I'm admitting that to. I looked inwardly. And I was able to reunite with an old, old, old part of me. And I finally feel complete now. Whole. I realize now how much of all the things that I believed were so false. Which bitch? Hmm. 
Almost all of it. And now thinking back, it just... It seems so unreal and untrue and so obvious. We can figure things out from here. Thank you, Jojo, but there are matters which are greater than all that here. While I was looking inwardly, I, I had realized, I had realized that I can't have everything. Even though I want everything. And then you have to decide on what you can have. And I figure if I if I try and struggle and and cling desperately onto whatever shreds that I have here um on earth I cannot also fight For the shreds of my soul. I don't wish to put you in front of me or Matt in front of me or Eli in front of me to shield me. For the judgment that I'm supposed to face. You might not want me in front of you, but you're not going to be able to get rid of me beside you, OJ. I think you could.
want you to think that you've got to do all this alone. I think being stuck alone helps anyone. I hear a horse in the distance. Is that him? Oh, there's someone here. Hello. Sure. I didn't expect. Is that Dahlia? Oh, how's it going? Hello. I don't think it's Dahlia. It didn't sound like her. What um, what are what are y'all doing? Is it? Talking to the person who's approaching now, I think. I had a friend that was uh, resting here after being terribly hurt, and I wished to see her. You're sure? Hey. Hey. Dahlia. Is it? Oh, it's Dahlia. <laughs> okay, it is. Okay. <laughs> it's good to see you, too, Dahlia. Hey, LJ. Matt. Yo, yo. Hello, mate. What happened? I busted a charge inside of Edwin's heart. What do you mean? I mean that I fired my gun inside of his chest. Why? He told me that uh, men in Van Horn, they had already begun planning on dispatching me. And uh, he came to give me an ultimatum. What was the ultimatum, LJ? said that I can go to Van Horn and I'd have to stay in someone's sight at all times. I was unable to leave, unable to talk to anyone. He wanted me to live the way that he lives in Van Horn. I told him I couldn't live like that. So you shot him? So he drew his pistol and he told me, well, I'll take you back to Van Horn myself then. LJ, that's not his or anybody else's call to make. Eddie has a habit of making calls he shouldn't. Well, either way, Matt, I've shot him and that doesn't change any facts. LJ. Yes? I had made a promise to Wallaby. A promise to fight for Van Horn, protect it and its people. Oh, no. Why do you think I made that promise? I'm not sure. 
Why did you make that promise, Matt? To protect Eli. To protect Diane. To protect Jojo. To protect you. As long as I'm there, none of the dead end games are gonna make a move on any of you. Not without me having a say in it. Last time I was there, Eddie pulled a knife and held it to my throat. Yeah, and Eddie, Eddie would have had to deal with me. Woo! I didn't expect this! I wasn't this. there at that time, was I? Yeah, there's a lot of times. Like that. How am I supposed to explain no, no, this to no, everybody no. else, LJ? Not that. Uh. I don't think there's any explaining to be done, Matt. Not, not any that I could think of. I feel uh, uh, all the stones have been set and the die has been cast. Oh, fuck, I don't have a song for this. Uh, well, this is what you want to do? Fight the dead end? Put Jojo in danger? Put Daya in danger, or Eli, or help me. Eddie did it when he pulled his gun on him. I don't intend on having anyone fight the Dead End Gang. They're gonna be coming, LJ. Well, then they they will come and. I will stand before them. The law are also sending their men after me. They are after me. Clementine. Did they ever know? Well, it was very different this time. This time Clementine seemed to... Uh, Speak very personally about it. I believe they intend on uh, dealing the harshest punishment of the law against me. What would you rather have? Well, uh, I figure I would like to make sure all of you are okay before I go. And I'd like to say goodbye this time. So that that's why you're here. When I came to see you, I thought you were still in a coma. No. I'm no, glad I'm... you're not. Eli told me that that you helped. Get me here. I did. Well, I help helped his relative. I'm not very much of a help, more of a hindrance, usually. Uh, but I was present. Now why did you do that? I have treated all of you terribly. Even if even yes. if you say no, because I know Jojo doesn't think I did. Dahlia knows. I have treated all of you terribly. I have plucked you 
from any happiness that you might have had in the past. And I had strung you along for very selfish reasons, very narcissistic reasons. And when you no longer satisfied whatever narcissistic desire that I had, I left. So I have an obligation and a responsibility So it changed between our last conversation. Because you told me that, uh, that you were going to apologize and now that you were just okay with, with dying. So, but an apology didn't mean anything. So you just walk away like you did. So it changed. I was able to look inwardly for the first time in a very long time. And I was able to reunite with a part of myself that I, I had buried a very long time ago. And now I can realize so many of the things that I believed looking back on them now they just seem so untrue and so unreal and it feels so obvious I got help. You got help. And for the first time in very, very long time, I can think clearly.
Okay, go on. What does that mean to you, LJ? means that I have no excuse and I have no I have nothing stopping me and I'm now fully aware of all the terrible things that I've done all the harm that I've caused and the evil depths that my soul had sunk to. And I have to confront that. And how, how are you doing that, exactly? I don't even know where to begin. I, I want to speak to a man, a woman, a God. Maybe they can give me some direction. But I don't know any. And um, Jojo doesn't know any either. What was uh, never my strong suit to you? You choose to come all the way out here. Why are you here? I know. Are you here just to sit here and stare at me? Speak in riddles? Or what? There's Do you no have something riddles. to say? Do you have something to say? Riddles. I know you're not. Dahlia. I'm sorry. Yes. For all the harm that I've caused you. All the unhappiness and wickedness that I have inflicted upon you. For all the confusion and misery and loneliness, which time and time again I had left you with.
I'm sorry for the betrayal that I've inflicted upon you. In having you open up your heart And then never truly opening mine in return to you. The last time that we saw each other in Blackwater, I not squeezed your neck. How did you feel that? I was really hoping that you wouldn't disappear again. You know that? So I was worried about. And it's true what I said. It thieves. But you have people that no matter what, despite everything, <laughs> they love you. Did you know that? Hmm? LJ. I don't think that I could truly understand love before. I thought love was unconditional uh, agreeing with everything that, that I said and I wanted and, and now I just realized that that's so wrong. Let's see, I was, I was never scared to tell you when I thought something was stupid. And every time you did, I thought, I thought to myself, this person doesn't really love me. And I, it, it grow as, it, inside of me as resentment. And, and I realize now that it's a lot harder to tell the people that you care about when they're wrong than it is to blindly agree with them.
I was so wrong. Space, though I've always been kind of an asshole. <laughs> what did she say? I need to hear that. Can somebody tell me what she said? She said, It's okay, I've always been kind of an asshole. Matt. LG. I want to know what you plan on doing. LG. You put me in the worst spot you could put me in. How am I supposed to protect my family, LG? Matt. I want to give you the option to leave here, head back to Van Horn, and pretend like you didn't see anyone here. And, and you can continue working with them, living with them, doing whatever you want with them. I don't want to take that away from you. And I don't think... I don't think, uh... Well, I'm going to be around much longer. I wouldn't want you to ruin everything you have. What's the other option? <sighs> no, don't take the other option. I'm not sure. The other option is, is... Don't fucking say it. I guess you can shoot me now and... Don't. Take me back. Don't even fucking start. Matt, you, you know the people that actually care about you, right? It's not in Van Horn. No, I don't want the if you love me, die for me, man. I don't want that. I don't want him to, like, because I, I, this really doesn't have much time left. I don't want him to get rid of everything. You know how it works gone. now? Enlighten me. Well, he's not just going to kill Lil J. He'll kill you, Jojo. And make Lil J want. Wallaby is a deranged dog that buries people under floorboards. And then he'll kill Dyer. Like fucking drink. I. And he'll make LJ want. I. He'll do the same to Eli. No, he won't. He wouldn't do that to Eli. Like he, he would. Be able to. He wouldn't fucking be able to. Touches Eli, I'm cutting off his fucking fingers. LJ can tell you what Jasper had to do, how easy that was. Disgusting things, and then he was put in a cage. Do you think you can stop it? 
think I'm going to roll over because I can't stop it. No. You think I can stop it? Yes. You have a choice. Like I said, remember who your actual family is. I know who my actual family is. I don't want any of you to die. Would you hunt us down if we'll be asked? No, 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 no! I can't. Oh, oh, oh my god, if he said something else. Oh my god. Oh, we would have had to add Then walk out of here, man. No, don't tell him to leave. No! Unless I can't hunt you down. And what we can do. I intend on speaking to a preacher or a priest or a pastor or a reverend and uh, discussing spiritual matters. Uh, outside of that, I haven't planned anything else. Why are you talking like you've already, like someone's already signed your death certificate? I'm not sure how much time I have. And, uh, I, I wish to, I wish to speak about matters of eternity with a learned man. Clementine has already made it very clear that she's hunting for me. The next time she sees me, she will, by every power of the law and her firearm, bring me in, whether that be alive or dead. I'm not it's sure how. An idle threat. There's not an authoritative bone in her body. I'm not sure how much longer... Uh, uh, the information will take to reach Van Horn, I'm sure, once it does. I believe there's someone outside. Did any of you bring anyone else? No. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it takes for information to get there. I'm sure when it does, uh, they might either seek immediate retribution or wait until Wallaby has a say. That's assuming Edwin hasn't managed to tell them already. Last we knew of Edwin, he was limped on the back of a lawman's horse. Nobody knows if he's alive or dead. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, Edwin. 
I started at the grave today. I logged in. I smoked at the grave to start the stream. The, at the dead end kid grave where all the dead end kids are buried. Fuck. So what? As we speak right now, there oh, could this. be people in, in the trees watching us and listening to what we're speaking about and know that we're engaging conversation. Who the fuck do you think's out there? I don't know. I don't know. but I'm in clear enough mind to contain myself, not to panic, regardless. I am unsure of what to do. All I know is I wish to speak to a learned man. Outside of that, I haven't planned very far. I don't believe Edwin would hesitate to uh, seek me out once he recovers. I don't think he would wait for uh, Wallaby's word on the matter, although I, I doubt Wallaby will make any attempt to uh, dissuade him. I believe uh, I was on my final strike after all. I intend on remaining unseen for a short period of time. Uh, how I would accomplish that, I'm unsure. Uh, possibly uh, somewhere like this, I suppose. Although somewhere with uh, some animals might be nice. Small ranch or something. They start with a change of clothes. You stick out like a sword thumb. You know, I really liked these buckskins. I was actually really happy about them. They look good. I don't wish on hiding forever. Uh, just uh, until I can get the matters of the spiritual sorted. Um, once I am to get changed, should I return here, stay some time here? I do have difficulty in staying in one place. I think that's the thing that 
caused this mess in the first place. Yeah, it's maddening. Tell me about it. I'll stay here for the night. That's okay, Dahlia. I can yeah, it's fine. sleep on the bench over there. We can speak again tomorrow. Uh, well, soon. Matt, if you can find out what happened to Edwin. I'm not sure how you would, but well, if you hear anything. I suppose. Making gonna wonder why you were gone so long. They all... Thank you. All of you. For what? For not turning your backs like I did. Thought we were family. Why would we? A bunch of times he stuck with me. I'm going to uh, get some air and, uh, and I'll head him back inside in a few moments and, and rest my head. Okay. Don't do something stupid. Okay. I promise I won't. I'll just be out back. Mm. I probably should lay down anyways. Yeah. Be careful, Matt. I'm not sure, uh what everyone's reaction will be. Um, I, I had to get Jojo out of there. Like you said, I don't think they'd hesitate to hurt her. They wouldn't. Uh, you, uh, I, I'm unsure. I feel like you've built a lot of rapport. I feel like they'd at least hesitate a little bit. LG. Yes. I'm sorry. What for? If he shoots me, shoot me. Come on out. Alright, everyone in the house, stay put. Ay, ay, ay. Jojo, no. Leave him alone. Oh, come on now. Let's not make this any harder than Leave. it has to be. Leave him okay. alone. You're okay. surrounded. Come here. Jojo, don't be fucking stupid. LJ, come here. Please, come here, LJ. Matt, you backstabbing fuck. LJ, come here. Jojo, put down Please. the fucking gun. I will not hesitate to put a fucking bullet in your fucking son skull. of a bitch. Jojo, please go back inside. Hey, come here. Just walk right next to me, man. Don't Jojo, cry please. for man now. Go back inside. Okay, come here. 
Matt, you fucking son of a bitch. Why the come here. would you I'm do something coming. like this? LJ. I have to do this. LJ. Please. You have five seconds, Jojo. LJ. Jojo, go inside. Three. Jojo, go on. inside. Don't, 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 don't. Damn it! Oh. Check that house, clear it out. Make sure no one else is in there. We good? It was not supposed to fucking happen this way. What the fuck happened? It's gonna be man? a fucking conversation. Who's the lady? Matt, what do we what got happened? here? Where's Dakota? Where's Dakota? Dakota's there, Dakota's there. Shit, she's there. Is she down? Yeah. Get him on a fucking horse, Matt. You did good. You have to shoot me. Say that again? Go check on the one inside, Calvin. Get Dahlia to a doctor, please. Right. Dahlia's inside. Just supposed to be you. Said they'd hate me and still love you. I don't know if you can hear me, Jojo, but you gave me this medallion. And then they'd be safe. That's all I wanted for my family to be safe. He's unconscious. Why'd you have to shoot, LJ? That, that's fine, but can you just push over Because it was fuck. Fuck. There you go. Right, once she's ready to move, Alvin, get her out of here. We're going to take this them to... This one's bleeding uh, heavily. We're going to take them to Ansberg, send in an SOS. we got to get the horses. Yep. Wesley, that's Wesley, my whole he'll come, he'll come, I think thing. I'm trying to shot in the like chest. Fly. Give him a good smack. He shot in the chest too. Get Dahlia and go. We need to get Dakota to Van Horn. ASAP. Get Dakota and go. Yep, the I'm struggling back with it, man. Then. I'm struggling with it. Bring him back to Van Horn, Matt. Listen, I'm gonna take Dakota straight there. Do you guys got this? Yeah, we're gonna take these to Landsberg. Right. Would you want them back in Van Horn? I want LJ in Van Horn. Yep. Get her to an actual no, doctor dude. if you can. Yeah, I know. Jojo, do whatever you want. I'll take wait, wait, where am I taking this one? 
Bring her, come with me, Wesley. Me and you are gonna go to Ansburg, drop these two off. Matt, get him back to Van Horn. Alvin, stick with him. Matt, are you getting it back to Van Horn? Him back to Van Horn. He's dead. He's dead. Well, fuck it. Do you want to leave him out here? I don't know what happened somewhere. in that house, Matt. But we gotta move them. We gotta do Let's something. Go. I'll be back to the yeah, in a little bit. At least come okay. this way, just in case the others are waiting. You go. Tell him I'm taking him somewhere where he wants to be. Where he might be at peace for a little bit. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Thug Cats. Thank you, man. I'm just gonna be quiet. I wouldn't have been able to stop him. I, I could execution animation to Pete, but I thought that was lame. Thank you so much, everybody, man. Darth, thank you, dude. You left me only one choice and an impossible choice, Sylvie. I'm gonna be quiet, guys. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna thank you all out.
so much, everybody, man. I'm going to thank you after. I, I want this scene to wrap wherever you stay. I love you, LJ. I loved all of you. And everything I've done, I try to do to protect you. Now I knew left will hate me. But 
That's why I got a bear to protect them. This life you can't have a family. Not if you want them to live. I love you. I'm sorry. I'll let Eli know where you're buried. I pay you today for every little deed. There's a reward for you in the end. If you build your mansion in this bad. in return I'll get my I just got word. I just got word. Edwin died because of me, and Jojo also died in that shooting. I pay you to 
Fuck, I've been thanking everyone. Has my mic been muted the whole time? Fuck, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I don't know if anyone got the... I don't know if I unmuted my my mic. Uh, I, I... I got word that Edwin... Edwin died because of me. And I also got word that Jojo died. I don't know if anyone heard that. Zardoz, thank you so much, Zardoz. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Zardoz, dude, I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much, Zardoz. Thank you, man. Shogun. Shogun, thank you immensely, Shogun. Shogun, thank you for the day, man, but also thank you for yesterday. During the, uh... During the, uh... Please take your seat stream. Thank you guys. Thank you, man. Shogun, thank you, man. Jolly Grim Jimmy, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you for the five gift subs, Jolly Grim Jimmy. Thank you so much, man. Tentacle Meow, thank you so much for the gift subs, Tentacle Meow. Thank you so much for the gift subs, man. Thank you, dude. No grip, thank you. G Pat, thank you so much for the four months, G Pat. Thank you for the four months, dude. Everest awaits. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Shogun, Shogun once again, man. An anonymous gifter uh, gifted a sub. Thank you so much, anonymous. Shogun, thank you so much again, dude. Thank you for the gift subs from today. Thank you from yesterday, man. Thank you, dude. Unheard Shepherds, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Oh, we won't be able to do the preacher job. Fuck. I had to die there. I had to die from the treachery. And, and, and... Like, I had just gotten Dahlia's forgiveness. It, it was... I, I got, I got Dahlia's forgiveness, but I didn't get the forgiveness. Uh, I, I didn't get forgiveness in the eyes of God, which I think is deserved for LJ. There's a reward. Unheard Shepherds, thank you so much for the five gift subs. 
Thank you so much, man. I was actually just about to log out, dude. I was gonna walk out and log out, man. I did not expect that from Matt. That was excellent, man. That was excellent. Bin Boy! Bin Boy, thank you for the 24 months. Bin Boy, thank you for the 24 months, man. Two years. Darth! Darth, man, Darth, thank you for the 10 gift subs, Darth. Thank you for the 10 gift subs, Darth. You are incredibly generous, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, Darth Man, thank you so much. Wacky Tally, thank you for the raid, man. Wacky Tally, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for the raid, man. Delgado also permit on no pixel, yeah. Delgado also permit, man. It's a server spawn and server span in one, man. Legendary character can have his Christmas cookies in heaven now. Claytone can't steal them there. He gave his life trying to protect Jojo, man. That That's probably better than any other way he could have gave his life. Thugcats, uh, man, thank you for the gift subs, dude. Thugcats, thank you for the gift subs, man. Eli, thank you for the, thank you for the gift subs, dude. Eli, thank you. Thugcats, thank you again, man. Thugcats, thank There's you so much, man. I feel like I can't properly muster up the stuff. The Slot boy, thank you for the gift sub, man. Zerk the jerk, thank you for the 14 months, a year plus two. Droogie! Droogie, dude, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. Droogie, thank you so much, man. Thank you, Droogie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Droogie, thank you so much. Shimble, Shimble, thank you so much for the gift sub, Shimble. Thank you so much, Shimble. Thank you so much, Darth. Thank you for the gift subs, man. Thank you so much, Darth. Darth, thank you, man. Ball the Barbarian, thank you for the gift subs, man. Ball's been crazy, man, recently. Thank you so much, Ball. Thank you, dude. Thugcats, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the bits, man. Jake, thank you for the bits, Jake. Thank you so much for the bits. Tentacle Meow, again, man. Tentacle Meow, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All the breaks, thank you, man. All the breaks, thank you, dude. Thank you, all the breaks. Darth, thank you again for the gift sub, man. Hydro, thank you for the 15 months. Jupa me, thank you so much for the four months. Dong Bong Silvers, thank you for the 19 months. Droogie Drew, thank you for the 16 months, Droogie. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, everybody. The close of a chapter, man. The close of a chapter. If I pay you today for every little deed, I've been sitting on this song for a while, man. I've been sitting on this song for a while. And I didn't think that, uh... I didn't think I didn't think that it would fit so well, man. I was not gonna this was not gonna be his perma song. Until until this morning, man. Pumpkinberry sent that video. 
And before that, I was- I was not 100% on LJ's redemption, man. But that video... That video... Please, look at the video, man. It's- it's- It's in the Discord. If you didn't see it this morning, please. So you can know the mindset that LJ was in, man. For the first time, he was able to look inside of him. It's too long, Unicronic. It's- it's 50- it's like an hour long, man. It's like 50 minutes long. First Kissinger and now this, man. All our American heroes are dying. Delilah saved somebody, man. Delilah actually saved somebody. Guys, please give love to, uh... Please give love to Pumpkinberry. Please, guys. She made the video. It's so good. It's so amazing. It's so well done. Please give love to Pumpkinberry. And thank God Haxie's streaming, man. Thank God Haxie's streaming, man. You have a new character, not one that's ready to go. Not one that's ready to go. Not yet. Thank you so much, man. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much. Please follow Haxi. Please follow Pumpkinberry on Twitch. Have a great night, everybody. I'm probably not going to stream RP for a few days at least. But I might do like a Goon Up stream or something. Have a great night, everybody. We'll come back and we're going to come back fucking strong. I'm telling you, I'm promising you that. When we come back, we're coming back strong. And we're gonna make it, we're gonna, we're gonna build something up to this level again. I'm so happy with this perma, man. With the Clayton one, it didn't feel right, but this one, it feels right, man, and I'm certain. Have a great night, everybody. I hope I secured salvation before I died. I didn't speak to a preacher, but I hope my actions will be rewarded. Happy birthday, Carrie. 